pieces like you always do. Oh, you know what? You sing like a Boyd every week. Yes. Monday Night Roy and Jimmy Thing here on ChaoticRadio.com. I'm Roy Brewster and this and I, is... And I am Jimmy Shaw back here in the booth. It is Monday Night. It's Chaotic, ChaoticRadio.com. It is us... 9 to 11, the Roy and Jimmy thing. Give us a call, 909-360-8330. Back to you, Roy Brewster. Back to me. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that was pretty strong, dude. I was actually practicing that, yeah. Were you practicing that? I did, All yeah. day? Yeah, I'm home alone right now, so yeah, I'm walking around just talking out loud, practicing the radio voice. I um, do that when I walk around every day. Me too, but it, it, you can't really... You can do a radio voice inside, but I have the luxury of doing it outside right now. Here, here's the deal. You've got the voice for radio. That's what I hear. Yeah. You've got that cool radio voice. I got that one that irritates the shit out of you. <laughs> well, not just me. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Monday night. So glad to have you back. We are dick. back. and we. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the thing? Dick. You, you dick. Um, no, we had a, God, we had a full week, a full Holy weekend. Smokes. We had another uh, packed house at the Legacy Room in Chino. Uh, what a great time that was! And a big shout out to Jim and Sheila out there. They just uh, they really do support us when we go out there. Another full house. Like it was, it, thing was packed. Yeah, I mean Eric and Carlos and yeah. Carlos Escobar, Eric Escobar, Eli, Eli Nicholas knocking it out. Uh, Jody Miller, our headliner, had a little uh, special guest spot. That's right. Her her her, her friend came out. Ariel Ariel's there. Ariel, right? Yep. First name Ariel Kash. Kash. Yeah, that's good enough. Ariel that's was the there. Yes, she yes. dropped in did a little bit for us. Mm-hmm. Um, no, what a great, what a great time! You had a, you had a great set. Um, thank you, sir. I, I, I would have liked to, I would have liked to do some material. It would have been fun. Well, it's everyone's goal, sure. Um, that would have been, you know, I and I watched back the tape. I yeah. did yours. I didn't cut mine yet. Right. But I was watching it, and I could in the beginning, I led right into a new bit I was going to do. Right. And, and I led right into it with everything, and I and then I just bailed. Yeah, I bailed. I uh, had fun with the people in the in the front for a whole damn set. And, that was it. And well, I was like, holy shit. Then I saw you. I didn't know I was on that long until I saw the video. Yeah. And I saw you because, you know, we just kind of let each other know where we're at. It's our oh, did you see we me do the light? Home. I saw you do the light. I'm like, holy shit. Well, I didn't want to do that. I told you just go and time yourself. But then you were going on and I actually did it. And I thought you'd saw me because you gave me this face. No, I saw you. No, but you gave me a face when I did it. So I, I thought it was coincidental. <laughs> but as soon as you gave me this look, I went, oh, God, he's going to kill me now. No, not at all, because I don't want to get up there and ramble all night. We have talent up there. I was going to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Stay out of the way of the talent. <laughs> get out of the way of the talent, man. These guys are getting tired. But that was a lot of fun. So thanks to everyone who came out. Uh, we did the Casket Hammer last Wednesday. Matt Cole's show, yep. So thanks, Matt Cole. That was fun. Um, we did that, that. We did our show. We did a Legacy Room. When's, what did we do? We did Tuesday. Wait, hold on. What did I you did, Oh, I did Brea Tuesday you night. You did Brea Improv. Shit, I forgot. So I did the Bray Improv Tuesday night. So hell, we had Monday, Tuesday. I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. And then we did Saturday. Yep. And then now this week, you're gonna be, you're gonna be Tuesday and Wednesday now. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna go down to Mulcahy's for Tony Ariola's show. He's right. Gonna, he told me to come on down. I want to uh, do a spot down there. He's got Fraser Smith and uh, just a bunch of other people down there. And then I'm going to be doing um, uh, a set down at Bruce's Lounge in Santa Fe Springs. The godfather of comedy, Rudy Moreno. Uh, he's got that spot there on Wednesdays when he's uh, not doing the Ice House Wednesday show. So uh, he said, come on down, and I am going to run on down there. Yeah, you didn't just say, no, nah, I'm a little busy, Rudy. No, I, I'm definitely doing that. And uh, the, that new stuff I'm working on that was uh, bringing out on Saturday, I need to keep doing that. Yeah, no, it, it was good. It was. Uh, I'm I, want, working I, want, on, I want to flesh that out some more, and so I, I definitely need to hit that stage right again. I, I don't know if I've completely shared you shared this with you. I, I, matter of fact, I don't think I have. But I'm working on a a venue to that we're going to be able to go to and, and film at. Ooh, Ooh, filming. Yeah. So get that new shit worked out. I don't want to film. <laughs> film. All right, film for what? All right, then come out and introduce me as I film. Okay. No, you can. Come why not? Film for what? What are we doing? I think no, no, d- our shit, our stuff. Like get some real, get some real good. Not like on a little camcorder bullshit that we're gonna have. Oh. And let's do a special and cut that shit, and we could sell it all over the place. We could probably make like twelve bucks. We can make it. We can make tens of dollars. Yeah, I'm make piles of it. I mean, I'll make my mom buy one, and <laughs> I'll well, make my sister buy one, and then I'll probably have to give the rest away. But you know, it won't cover my cost, but. You know, it'll be out there. Gotcha. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You know, big time here. I was talking to somebody 
somebody at uh, whoa did, what happened all of a sudden my my mic got better all of a sudden did it sound like I got less tinny it is it is like crystal clear yeah it was real tinny and high before yeah sound like I was sound like someone was pegging me Just, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a call forward that's a call forward to what's coming later exactly um yeah, but I think that'd be a good idea. We got to do that. Working on that already. Well, good. That's, a good. that's always a good idea to have. Have in the pocket. In other words, Jimmy's like, don't do that to us. And just think, if we don't like it, we just don't show anybody. True, but we're going to be in a, a, a place specific. And then when we get big and huge, because our guests tonight are going to get big and huge and let us do a little spot somewhere. They're going to give us. Like, the, no, be real. They're going to give us comp tickets. All right, quit playing. We're, we're, we're going to bring a hand. I got, I got an intro for him. We got an intro for him? I think so. I, I, oh, hope, okay. I hope this works. Okay. All right. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, Derek. You're great. Are we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. Sure. Uh, I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're Nev Nips. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Let's not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. We're <laughs> probably going to sing anyway, so we might as well just. <laughs> That's yeah. a good point. I'm. You gotta wait for the music. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> In studio, we have we have comics. We have Monica Nevy and Mike Coletta from the Hug Life Podcast. Welcome to the show, you guys. Hi. Thank wow. you. Wow. Oh, oh, damn. Wow. That was that like was in good. harmony and yeah, shit. It's like we, we've done this We before. sing, talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, all the time? Yeah. It's nice. That's Me and awesome. Roy have been doing this two years. We're not even that synced. <laughs> huh? We're <laughs> 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 gonna sync up those sing talk cycles. That sounds like something sync we can talk, add. Sing talk cycle. I, I think we're gonna have a little synergy here. We'll, yeah. we'll do a little borrowing. A little piece comes for uh, goes with you guys. We'll leave a couple with us. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Wasn't that the word last week? Synergy. Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I'm carrying it through. You're bringing yeah. it back. It's supposed to stick around, right? Yeah. You Whatever the so. word is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you would think so. I'm not yeah. even hashtagging it. I'm just saying the word. <laughs> I can't remember anything that's not hashtag. Right? <laughs> that's how <laughs> we're trained now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to hashtag my name. Hashtag all that shit. Yeah. What have you been doing? I don't know. Check the hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> well, Monica, Monica hashtags all our names. I do. Uh, I do. She today, does that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got she's got some great ones though. Uh, the the Nevy ending story. Nevy that ending one story. that one makes me laugh. Yeah. Nevy by nature. Nevy by Nevy. nature. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that one cracks me up. Mike has a, well, your 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 lot your what your 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 name on your social media is me Colette. Is me yeah because because it, it, Mike Colette is taken. It's yeah. so re, it's so we, we've gone over this so many times. It but you didn't have me to, so much. You didn't have to do the Mike under slash Colette. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, like Mike underscore Coletta underscore eighty eight. 69. I didn't want to do that. 8869. I've been 69 and since 88. <laughs> That's Mike's laugh. <laughs> Uh, yes. Oh, right. awesome. hey, you're gonna be, exactly. The best part about this is, is you're going to be playing with those levels the entire time because no, it's going to get loud and short and no, it's, it's just me. It's I'm just good. me. No, it is you. It's good. I just yeah. want to make sure that you're not overmodulated so people can understand you. I'm trying to overmodulate <laughs> all the time. You know He's why? Counted. You're an over- overachiever. I'm an, over- I'm an overmodulator achiever. You know why? Why? Because you were 69 and since 80. That's right. <laughs> Early, dude. So what he's saying is he's been undermodulated. <laughs> I've undermodulated. <laughs> Up until this I like day. to modulate while being modulated is what I'm saying. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, there you sure, go. multi yeah. multi modulate. That makes yeah. sense. Audio sixty nine. Mm-hmm. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you guys think too. You're giving out. You were giving out. Um, uh, what a couple months ago, audio hugs. Yeah. 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 I don't like to call it a podcast as much as an audio sixty nine. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag it. Hashtag, on Hashtag 69. audio 69. Audio 69. <laughs> Let that thing take off. <laughs> so you hurt my feelings because, see, I did, I did, um, I've got the Facebook, Roy Brewster and Roy Brewster yeah. Comedian, the two pages, uh-huh. and then Roy Brewster Comedy on the other one, right. but my my damn Twitter, someone had it, so I had to do Roy underscore Brewster. I didn't That's mean to okay. hurt your it's feelings. Right. It's okay. I had to under. I had to, un- I had to the, use the under. Have you, do you stock the other Roy Brewster? Because that's I, what I do. I actually, stock I all the other Mike Colettas. Never looked for him. Oh, uh, see, you're missing out right now. There's a whole like the Mike Coletta that stole MikeColetta.com is the best. Mike Coletta. He's a uh, he <laughs> ran for mayor of, Pol- of Colorado Springs. He oh. plays. He's a freestyle djembe drummer. He's an amateur UFO hunter. He's way cooler than I am. Oh, Are there professional he UFO hunters? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess it's like Dan Aykroyd's really into UFO hunting, right? He seems like a professional. That is, is he a professional? 
I don't know. He has a, a documentary about it, so that's pretty professional. <laughs> I try. I started watching the first five minutes of it. I'm like, this is too far gone. So you're telling, <laughs> that, you're telling me he has IMDb credit? Yeah. That is the Mike Coletta to be. Yeah, that is. I know. I can't handle that. I can't, I I can't be, compete with that. I want to be that Mike Coletta. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Everyone does. Everyone does. <laughs> not but, you, the other guy. Nah, <laughs> I, not me. Yeah. Everyone should be the other one. <laughs> I, I, I'd like. Yeah, I'd like to be the other guy too. You'd like to be the other guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you haven't lie. even looked up the other worldly. Roy? No, I should look him up while we're on look air. Him sometime. Right yeah, look him up right now. Just do it. I want to know what he's like. What does he do? About what, does he, what does he do? If I look him up and he's way cooler than me, I'm going to be pissed. Don't be pissed because he's not cooler than you. And if he is, we'll block him. All of us will just block him. Oh, he, he's probably way. Him. He's probably way cooler than I am. Oh, I, I totally messed up my social media early. I, 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 I was. Fortunate enough to have Jimmy Shaw on Facebook. Oh, nice! And then I, w- I had Jimmy Shaw on Twitter, and it was like that was awesome. And then I thought Mr. Comedian here is going to go with some fucking synergy. <laughs> oh, here we go! <laughs> Bring so, it I, back. so I changed them all. Jimmy Shaw comic, Mr. Uh, fucking Professional. I can And now some little twelve year old has Jimmy Shaw. No. That's tough. That's a tough I break. You go had back. it, and then you lost. I, I it. let it go. Oh, it's man. tough too because you see guys they're like comedian so and so, and it's. But really... there, I, I actually have a doppelganger in the Midwest. Um, oh God, uh, Detroit area. Anyways, flyover state. He's a comic. His name is Jimmy Shaw. Oh man, does Let's shows get him. out there in Let's Co- get him. like the Kokomo area. Is he cooler than you? And uh, <laughs> yeah, so we both. <laughs> is he cooler than you? All right, what's what's? Like, no, I'm letting you finish your story. He's okay. a porn bot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what he is. He's just a porn bot. He's not another. Per- he's not a real person. <laughs> Which still would be cooler than you. Yeah. <laughs> give it. Give it to us. No, no, no. You, I want to finish your. I want you oh, to so your Jimmy story. Shaw and, and Kokomo. Uh, so uh, we're, we're friends on Facebook and Instagram. So we're uh, we're going to meet in the middle somewhere and, and do a Jimmy Show double headliner. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's go. cool. There's my, there's been Mike Coletta's that added me. There's a Mike Coletta that added me to a group called Mike Coletta's, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't. What? So there's that many Mike Coletta's. Yeah, See, I've and never I, seen another Monica. Nettie. I didn't. Never. I didn't accept because I'm like, this is getting out of hand. This is like an alternate You're universe. You're too Justice good for League. the rest of the Mike. No, Coletta's. it's like this is a comic. Okay, we're already going. Not it's, not it's, comic it's, person, like a comic book about all the Reed Richards, and they combined a foundation called the Reed Richards Foundation to like save people, like save humanity, and it's like that. But we're just all. Schlubs. It could be the Mike Colettas that get together and eat or something. I'm the Mike Coletta that promotes chicken wing recipes in the group. That's what all I do. Chicken, chicken wings. <laughs> That's all I do. Chicken wings and let you're upset because you didn't think of it. I guess it maybe, yeah. Yeah. So we'll give us the porn yeah. bot uh scoop. You give well, us, give well, us here's, the, the Roy Brewster Twitter. Here's Roy Brewster at Roy Brewster. I'm not following his ass, that's for sure. Good. Take that. <laughs> the last post he made was July 4th of 09. Oh. oh. No. And said, "What are you watching? Any good?" <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone respond? <laughs> Anyone respond? No, no. No, then, no, no. Please yes, respond to respond that tweet right, right now. now. Respond right now, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like every one of them. <laughs> and then because there's only a couple. See, there's one, two, three, four. Oh, that's the worst when they don't five, even use it, and seven, he has your name. You know, it, it, he's got eight tweets total. If, you, if they don't use it for so long, I think that you can actually kind of challenge the name and get it. Yeah, that's what I heard too. You can like uh, email Twitter go. or something. They'll yeah. be like, "Yeah, we can hook you up." But then I got to change it away from mine to the new one, and then now it's going to get. I have to start all over, no, which I don't know a lot anyway. No, it'll move it for you. It'll move everything <gasps> yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. So, then so you'll just it'll just change your uh, Highlander handle. Roy Bush, 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 so yeah. the, the very first one it was April of eighth of oh nine. Listening to Stephen Fry narrating <laughs> Harry Potter whilst <laughs> marinating chicken for barbecue. You tonight, whilst, whilst, nice. solid use of whilst, and then again, solid. so April in April '09 he was big. Five hours on the beach, still listening to Harry Potter under the sunshade of my time. Don't want to be a prune yet. April 11th of '09, That's getting ready to go to a local bar called Fuegos to meet up with friends and not get too drunk. April 14th, <laughs> what a loser! Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> I'm not a charity case yet, but I do love audiobooks, especially on the beach. Reading is such hard work, and then. I mean. April 23rd, happy St. George's Day to everybody. <laughs> and it says, happy St. George's at, Day. At, <laughs> he made it up. Proud to be English, and such a shame that I'm happier in Spain than I was in the UK. Oh, oh he's got a little. He's not traveled. Yeah. And, then, and then he said, at McGiff, whoever that was, haven't you heard? Beer is the new water. And at McGiff, I think people would pay good money to see your prawn ring. And then at Chicago Latte, what are you watching? <laughs> 
So Wait, he's got prawn, prawn, prawn ring. It's like porn, right? I, I don't know. So he's got he's following six people, and he has four followers. Let's well, he's going to have five in a second when I let's follow see, him. So. Let's, see who is, <laughs> let's just start tweeting him, everyone. Let's start tweeting him. So, <laughs> be like, is this account dead? <laughs> he's what are following you watching? <laughs> Claire, who's locked. Ian Poulter, who's a golfer. Rowan Atkinson. Okay. Mr. Bean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bean? <laughs> <laughs> and Jonathan Ross, who is a drummer. And McGiff, sometimes I tweet, sometimes I don't. And Stephen Fry. Actor Roddy currently working on a new TV comedy, Great Outdoors CBS program. So let's go to Stephen Fry. Fry. Stephen Fry. I've heard that. Name. Oh, he's got 12.1 million followers. Oh, so yeah, he's uh, he's trying to get person. the celebrities to Holy talk to him. Smoke. On. So he got the count to try to get Stephen Fry to talk to him on Twitter. It didn't happen, and then he quit. That's what happened to Roy. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. Mm-hmm. That was that was it. He's got nine freaking tweets. Last we heard, he's in Spain. We don't even know where he is now. Yeah, maybe he he's dead died, now. You guys, yeah. Well, he does have four <laughs> followers. But if he's dead, I think you can get it. Sounds the like handle. he died of boredom for sure. For sure. Twitter, yeah. I don't know. He sounds like just someone's dad. Yeah, it's weird because he gave me a signal. Like, like I'm well. gonna try to not get too drunk, and then he goes, "Haven't you heard? Beer's the new water." I'm like, "What's happening? What are you doing? You trying to be cool, Roy?" Trying to go at, back on your real p- opinion. So let's see what it looks like here. There's there's Roy right there. Hey, whoa. Is he a hottie? Is he a hottie? I, it's, <laughs> it must be something in the Roy Brewster jeans because there's probably, uh, he's got a big head and he's got more chin than one. So, Oh, dude. Roy knows he how He looks to, like he rides a yeah, motorcycle. Yeah, he rides a motorcycle for sure. There he is, man. Oh, I yeah. really hope so. Oh, yeah. He rides a motorcycle that that's, that's, while no listening reason. to audiobooks. That's, <laughs> we know. that's the that's the face going through every crisis. It'll be a midlife crisis soon. <laughs> That looks like a Google image like picture that someone just pulled to make their face. Right. Like, <laughs> just like, dude named Looking Roy. for an old guy biker. <laughs> so here's the deal. In 09, I was just ready to break into comedy. He's one of those guys that took it and was hoping I would buy it from him. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Well, my, my, probably, probably yeah. my little... I think he broke did. it to talk about audiobooks online. My little, Jimmy, so my little Jimmy Shaw here uh, is... Oh, he's, got, like, what he's got 10 followers... He's got two yeah. followers, and he's following ten people. And the last any mention of him, he hasn't done any tweets. He hasn't tweeted at all. He hasn't tweeted at all. Oh. And we got to get this one, shit back. So he's just there to yeah, watch that, people. He, he bookmarked, he cock-blocked the name for me is what he did. Yeah. Uh, his last mention was in 15, someone tagged him. And then you can see the transition. I lost it. My last tweet under that name was uh, August 22nd, 10. Yeah. yeah, Roberta. Audio Roberta's uh, Roberta already Follow started with the, with the with the with the, with the hashtag Audio sixty nine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. Do you want to hear something depressing right now? Uh, at Mike Coletta. Uh huh. Zero following. Five followers. No tweets. That's the guy. Oh. That's the guy. No, yeah. this is well, his picture, though. He he looks like uh, he looks like everyone's dad. <laughs> He's everybody's dad. Yeah, pretty much. This Just isn't like the UFO owner. This is a different of guy. All dads. This so you know. Dude. So we That's gotta. We should. Guy. Since mm-hmm. we're all doing, t- we should up the Twitter. Look There's at, Jimmy. Look, look, at, look at that Bieber fan right there. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. What? So it's at Monica. Got a lot of angst. That's awesome. It's at Monica Nevy, right? Yep, at Monica Nevy. And Sorry, then it's at. I got it. <laughs> me Coletta. M E M E O. L, E T T A, two one L two T's, two one L two T's. You nailed so, it. So Roberta, you're listening right now. I know you are. So go to at Monica Nevi M O N I C A N E V I, and at me Coletta M E C O L E T T A, and follow them. We want to see if their count goes up because we're going to up their Twitter. We're going to up their Twitter. Do it. I'm trying to up my Twitter game right now. So up they the Twitter. It. So we're going to up. In we should have checked them both. Right now. Say check was, wait, don't do it. Don't do it yet. Don't, don't do, do it yet. Oh, we got it. Do, don't. Do it yet. Um, Even Roberta makes signals here. Roberta, don't do it yet because we're going to check their Twitter first. <laughs> Roberta, be your own person. Okay? No, do it no, 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 no. Roberta, no, no. follow the real Roy. You know what so, I mean? You're great. Yes. Any Roy with an underscore is yeah. the one you want to go yeah. with. So 1557. Oh, I shouldn't have told you where it was at. <laughs> Why are we trying to guess? No, I was going to see if it, see see if you could get Yeah. There's, there's Mike. Mike has... Okay. Okay. So we know what they're at right now. So go to their Twitters. 
We're going to up the Twitter. Up okay. their Twitter. We're going to check it at the end of the program and see if yeah, it goes up. I'm all about that. Mine will go down. <laughs> I've lost six followers today. What have you yeah, been doing? I think it was a porn bot cleaning day or something like that for Twitter. You, you remember were was all it, about the porn bots. Was it like That's because they were everywhere. Was it like a year, all around us. year, year and a half ago, Twitter said they're cleaning decks, getting rid of, or no, Instagram, they're getting rid yeah. of all these bots. I lost like... And then you lost all your followers? Like two, three hundred people. Have you guys oh, ever man. done the, the, twi- yeah. the Twitter That's audit? That's a lot. Yeah. The Twitter audit? No, it's it, it, you type your handle into Twitter audit, and it'll tell you how many people are real people and how many people are bots. Didn't it's kind of interesting. I know that because my friend one time as a prank bought followers for another guy. <laughs> oh, my friend yeah. was like, "I'm blowing up," and he's like, "I um, totally um, bought him ten thousand followers for twenty bucks." <laughs> I thought he bought him likes. So he bought he bought him likes. Or you can re- also retweets or something. You can like you can pay money to have fake like to have bots like a person's tweet. Oh god! So, so this like, poor like open micer is like, oh my god, my tweet's blowing up. There's like 150 favorites, and it's because somebody bought them for yeah, him. Yeah, so like he's a like joke to feeling mess great him. about himself. Jesus. Poor guy. And he actually confessed that he bought him for him on stage at an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Which was the best business plan right? oh, it's for, the best, for his yeah. career. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, Twitter audit. Check it out. And you'll see who's real. Oh, yes. Why would you want to do that? Well, I no, just I, like I, to I, pretend that everyone actually loves me. Well, I could look at the Twitter audit because I don't have hardly any followers. I mean, seriously. I don't. My tweet games, and I have 537. That's 537? Okay. You're so, about to have 538 I'm right I'm following now. you already. So, I mean, it was before tonight. I'm sorry. I, I'm terrible so at here's the, the internet. So. And here's, here's the only reason I know <laughs> is because I hit it like I was going to follow you, and it said, uh-huh. you want to unfollow? I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm already following. Already following. If you, yeah. if, I didn't realize it, but if you accidentally like follow us uh, or like favorite something, like you're getting like shaky hands like I do when I'm holding my phone, you know, because I'm so excited. And, uh, <laughs> I thought you were doing something else with the other hand. Uh, I wasn't sure. Um, you know, when you're holding it in one hand and you're uh, That's the audio practice. 69ing yourself in the other, and then... <laughs> you know when you're trying to favorite tweets and jack off at the yeah. same time? Like that what you're doing? Because I, I <laughs> masturbate to social media. Just the, the thought of people enjoying me. <laughs> it's, it's exciting And then you find out they're bots. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm yeah. like, Even, you audit and, and they're like, "Are you lonely tonight?" I'm like, "I am lonely tonight." How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? Chrissy XX sixty nine four twenty. How did you know? <laughs> she sounds fun. <laughs> she sounds she sounds like a hoot. <laughs> she seems real cool. Yeah. What if she wasn't a bot? Huh? What if she? What yeah. if she was real? That, she was well, real. Dude, I, okay, so I got that's snap. The hope. I got Snapchat again. Monica was there. This happened like last night or the night before. I don't know what today it is. Uh, and uh, I turned on Snapchat again. I redownloaded it and I t- clicked a button that was like, "Do you want to have uh, random strangers be able to talk to you?" I'm like, "Sure, why not? You know, maybe I'll have fans." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, first thing that pops up, "Want to fuck?" It was, <laughs> it was just like it a was instantly message <laughs> it was that so said that. Funny. Now let, let's go back a little bit. You said you re. <laughs> Sign back into yeah because uh, uh, yeah because uh, I have a bunch of friends there just now like you don't have Snapchat I'm like I had it two like when it came out and none of my friends had it it's and like so the I, number one I social media it. platform now sure but uh, yeah so I redownloaded it and uh, it's pretty fun it's cool yeah. to like look at see what your friends it's mostly just for your friends doing really cool stuff that they didn't invite you to that's what it is <laughs> and, the, and, it, and that's a 24 hour right that yeah it's uh, it's, yeah, it goes away after 24 hours. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what uh, Instagram just kind of did with theirs. The yeah. Yeah, theirs. with the story thing. Yeah. Right. It's really ups- stories. Yeah. It's really upsetting, though, because my girlfriend will send me, like, adorable pictures of the cat, you know, like, doing fun stuff, and then I can't watch it again. I can only watch it once. It's kind of hurtful. <laughs> I have Snapchat, and I ne- always forget I have it. Yeah, I don't. I can't. Get I don't it. check I it never, that often. I, you can't get it? 538 yeah, pieces of shit. Roy. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. Boom. Like, all the apps I have are, like, the beta version. I just need <laughs> anybody. It's all, they're all anybody pix- wants to buy me a new phone. It's all pixelated. Yeah, it's all, it, like, just shuts off all the time. God. Oh, look at all the people that have, like, chatted since, I mean, it just does so long and it drops them off. But, yeah, see, I, don't, I never do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever Snapchatted once. I just watch everyone else's Well, shit I mean, really, you're a lurker. I get you. I That's am. exactly what I do. Um, the thing about it is the whole, <laughs> the whole point of it is, like, for a while, it was, like, the go-to app for people to send naked pictures, right? Mm-hmm. I think it probably still is. But now they're trying to be like, no, we're trying to. It's a story now. It's not naked pictures. Oh, it's a story, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that it, naked it's pictures disposable. can tell a story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the fact they made it disposable. No, no, yeah. we're good. In this story, you took your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone sits around for the next one. Now we're waiting I for the next story. Story. coming. And I took my clothes sleep. off. Yeah. That's where the, the Nevi That's where the Nevi story came. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just keep going. That's awesome. Well, what what got you guys together? What what, what started the the hug life? How, how long has that been going on? 
two um, two years. A little bit over two years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Do you uh, remember? You just sit around. I'm, I board. don't. I don't know if I really remember. I do remember. Um, I had gone back and forth in my own head whether I wanted to start a podcast just because there's so many and I wanted it to be something different, you know, and not just us talking for no reason. Um, and. If you've listened to the podcast or you've seen me on stage, my energy level isn't the highest <laughs> um, of anyone ever. And But the idea of it was like, I want to talk about fun stuff and nice things and positive. Everything's so negative. Let's talk about positive stuff. And I was like, but that's not <laughs> well conveyed through me. So who's a really a funny person? It's got a lot of energy, known for being nice. And that was Mike. And so I messaged him and said, hey, this is an idea I have. And he was like, you know what I was just thinking about? doing a podcast too let's try it and we did and it's it's been really fun we've been i was on the road for like six weeks when he was still here and we like banked a bunch of episodes and as it was going i was like i miss <laughs> podcasting like i really yeah. miss doing it mm-hmm. uh, so we have a lot of fun like and i really it, like it and i was slowly, like doing those bumpers each week before as it was <laughs> happening and you could see me slowly like d- diving into the darkness and madness <laughs> was, like, being like alone. sadder and sadder i'm trying to do these like one minute bumpers where i'm just describing all the fun stuff monica's doing and i'm like and I'm here in California, <laughs> eating wings, talking burgers. That's all I'm doing right now. Mitch, Mitch is over here asleep. We're good. Yeah, yeah, Mitch, exactly. is, Mitch and I just watched Murder She Wrote, and um, <laughs> hey, get on, get on it, and follow them both. And I think we're, I, I think we've got a couple. Um, hashtag audio sixty nines coming already. Yeah, 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 yeah there we go. Love we're going to be on the trend list soon. I would think so. Hashtag we're trending. Audio 69's Audio 69's trending. Yes. For sure. Yes, we should. That would make sense. You know what pissed me off? Is if they got all this off of Audio 69, yeah. we've been tweeting our shit forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and try to hashtag all our stuff, and we don't get anything. It came from here, so obvi- uh, you know we'll see. We'll see if we can like you know glom on a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, it'll it'll come back. It'll yeah, come, it'll come back. <laughs> we, we got a piece of it, Roy. Yeah. We got what a piece of it. As long as we got a piece of it, I'm happy. It's all good. <laughs> good. Roy just opened a random person's Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I well, just, just, it just popped up, so I just opened it, and I just signed off. You're, so a nice you're, you're a nice person. You're a very nice person. You deserve at Roy Brewster. I do. That, yeah. He hasn't tweeted you, since 09. Are you, you freaking kidding I'm me? Sure, Roy, I appreciate you. Roy, Roy, you could have you done a review on our podcast. Or liked, oh. your, or liked your own page you know what? or whatever. That's, or liked my yeah. page. That's what I, I do. Want, I don't want that shit. I want the real thing. You want that? I yeah, believe can, that. Can That's you get, good. Can you get get me the number for that bot shit? Oh, so for I, sure. Like for sure. <laughs> so you can. Oh, wait. That wasn't a commercial break yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. You can get that bot shit for sure. Well, how long... Uh, okay, so obviously com- uh, comedy. Uh, you guys... The, both from the Seattle, Seattle area. Yeah. 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 How long you been at it? Let's get the history in. I'm over six years now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be six in January. Wow, yeah. very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we knew each other just like as comics before. Sure. I think, we I, think I remember the, the first show we were on together. When you did 30? Yeah, the <laughs> unprocessed Moxie. I remember that show because the microphone broke and so I had to do my set During without a set, microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Monica also brought a majority big, of the crowd, yeah. as I recall. Well, I went to college right next to where the theater was. so Oh, yeah, they just, just walked like, over. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, like that's an block. easy bringer right there. Yeah, exactly. No, it was a really good show. It was fun, yeah. Mm. I remember. Yeah. That's the one thing. I don't, it's funny, I remember that, which was way before. But I didn't remember how the <laughs> podcast started. It's <laughs> <laughs> just all... <laughs> just like, how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, Roy, we, we just cleared uh, just over seven, right? Eight? Yeah, so Seven. At the same time, yeah. Did you guys, that's nice. He started yeah. like three months before I did. I officially I started in. Uh, I officially started eight years ago. I, I did the open mic at the Hollywood Improv. I was lucky to get in on the the potluck, uh-huh. and I had a blast. And then I got in the next week, and I've have never been able to get back. Through. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how it works. So yeah. I did those two, and then I was like, I was excited. I finally did it, and then I wife kid uh, not kids wife job and i didn't really put the energy and i thought i needed to and so about almost nine months later then i started doing the open mics and roy said i'm gonna come too so let's go so you, you, so you knew each other yeah. before oh fifth grade is when we yeah, yeah. wow Dang. Yeah. fifth grade yeah. that's awesome that's awesome that's amazing a beautiful friendship it's even more well i get why he's in the other that's room exactly then, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly where I but uh, <laughs> then we started doing uh, like at the lucky strike over uh, the, at the orange in orange county there 
And, uh, you know, we okay. met great people in there. We saw, you know, Eric Allegra, Dino Archie. You know, we, we met yeah. all these guys coming through. Yeah, both of those guys. Yeah, they're just great people, and we've just known them since then, and we've been doing it since. That's exciting, because I That's feel like awesome. moving down here, I rarely get to say, I know both those guys. <laughs> well, you, well, I was telling Monica, uh, the last show we did, uh, you, we have a lot of mutual friends, like uh, uh, Jen Seaman, who's yeah. Saunderson now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Nigel Larson. I know yeah. Nigel. I love Nigel. Uh, Kyle Cease is the guy from your area. Yeah. That's where we, we actually got into his boot camps when he had him down here. Oh, yeah. I was one of his first uh, one-on-one uh, student. I think I was number three oh, when wow. he started doing it down here, so I've, I've known Kyle forever. Oh, that's awesome. cool. Yeah, and so a bunch of the Seattle people came down, Lucas Seeley, yeah. to the boot camps down here, and that's where we met a lot of the Seattle people out here. Yeah, did that, that happened, that was here, was the first one, right? Yeah. He did him up there, I think. Yeah, he started yeah, traveling around like Minnesota. He was doing it with Louis Anderson, and yeah. congrats, Louis, you just won an Emmy. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Good. That's awesome. Hey, Jimmy, it's Louie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to see how you're doing. <laughs> All right, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you. <laughs> I went up. They had a boot camp up in uh, Las Vegas, and he had a theater up there uh-huh. in the Plaza Station or some shit like that. And uh, so I went up there, spent a couple of days, did some time on stage with him, and it was just uh, it was just super great. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was great, Jimmy. Awesome. That was great. You know, you know, you know <laughs> I, great. I just I wanted to see when we when my first time was. So, it was May fourteenth of '09. So you do remember the that date? Was, that was Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike. See, yeah. I don't remember. No, well, no, I had to look it up because I have a video. You have it. It's hidden. Yeah, oh yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, no, it's See, horrible. I don't. Yeah, I don't know my exact date. So if, do I. And people get mad about it, but I'm like, but now if you month. remember yeah. that Roy Brewster guy we looked up, when was his first Canada okay. date? I <laughs> never. Did, I didn't. <laughs> my first one was May. He started tweeting in April. Really? Right when we knew I was going to start doing comedy. Right when he knew. Do you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know it's funny if you jump on that uh, the Twitter it's a good boat. Telepathy thing. He knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> All the way from where was he? England. England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He Possibly sensed Spain. It. He's we like, don't know. Just, <laughs> not quite sure. He's like, I feel I'm something little, wrong with uh, the other Roy's. That son, of bitch, <laughs> that son of bitch had to get on a boat quick. He said, "I'm out of here. I'll be right back." I'm a little pissed off right now. Because I think you should be. I think Roy. Oh wait, there's another Roy Bruce. Oh, it's Roy Brewer. Uh, what an idiot! That's close. That asshole. He that couldn't guy's even finish. a dummy. He couldn't even finish the name. Yeah. Fucking loser. He probably makes beer for a living. What an idiot. <laughs> Homebrew. Um, he probably makes a lot of freaking money, and I bet he's got a ton of followers. From Son Milwaukee. of a bitch. You got to think positively. About I am. I want to steal his name now. Okay, steal his. Name. <laughs> you're become, you just you're change become your right name. Right 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 that's great. Oh my god! So yeah, same time. So it was oh nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Twitter? How old is Twitter? So it's seven years. Uh, pretty old, know. right? I don't know what started. I just think about what happened if you get on those things early. You I know think what I mean? It was, yeah. I actually think it was oh seven. Oh seven. That would make sense because I, I I was one of the I jumped on that quick. Just see that. I was very anti Twitter at first. I don't really. Know I was why, too. But I was Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. I got a Twitter like three years ago. Okay. Nine two thousand ten. Okay. If you if you can call nine zero nine three six zero eight three three zero and tell us when Twitter started. Ooh. Roy and Jimmy, thanks. Speaker uh, sticker and. Wristband. Yes. Ooh. And I'm going to hug you. We've got, we've got swag. Swag. Like, give us a call. They don't come down here. They're going to come down here. I'm going to give them a hug if they if they call in. Okay. No, virtual hug. Virtual hug? Ooh. I'm going to give you an audio 69. Yeah. So there you go. That's even Phone's better. lighting up. Hashtag <laughs> audio 69. Is. <laughs> How about that one? If you do a hashtag audio 69, it'll be a bracelet. That's true. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That's yes. very good. Oh, we got enough? Yeah, we got enough. I, I think so. Yeah, we're good. We got a, We got a good deal. <laughs> take this one off we, the we, we, microphone here. we bought in bulk is yeah, what we, we did bought, well some in bulk so you it's started up seven years ago and what, what what brought you both down here was it together separately what, what, well, got, what, what we brought did Southern together down? we did the tour we did like yeah months. we did it together so actually it's been about a year that we left our jobs in seattle yeah we went on tour for three months kind of all over all over the place a lot of stuff in the south and then we went home for you mean like alabama south or arizona yeah. alabama, alabama south, south. Damn. <laughs> it's funny because i have a bit like that um uh yeah and then we went home for the holidays and then we moved down here in january um yeah just for the comedy we lived stuff in a i mean studio for three months we did live in a studio for three months <laughs> yeah. i didn't murder him it got very close They're a couple so of times close. but um 
I snore pretty. I snore like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> pro level. Yeah. yeah, I'm an all pro snorer. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. Is it bad now that we're living? Can you hear us through the walls? Because uh-huh. it's like a snore sandwich. Yeah, but bit. not that that much. So when we we now we have a three bedroom apartment, and I'm in the middle of. Mike and Mitch, who both snore, but I've made them Stereo. move their beds to the far wall away from where mine is. Uh, <laughs> much, so I can hear them, but it's not as bad as it was. It's much sure. more soothing now than anything. No, it's like an ambient fireplace DVD. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It just crackles every it once in a while. It just crackles like, ooh, this is like Christmas. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the Christmas DVD <laughs> right Christmas. there. <laughs> I had a, I had a friend of, Christmas. of mine that would play that at parties in college. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's put that in, he's like, oh, you like the fireplace? It's the best. <laughs> I actually started playing that. Uh, it's on Netflix. So I actually, oh yeah. yeah! I actually started playing at Christmas more. Well, Christmas Eve when I start. Yeah, when I started rapping, I oh, said, you know yeah. what? I'm I'm gonna do it, and because it's always warm out here. So yeah. I, I, yeah. There's through a, the fire on the TV. It's crazy the stuff they have on YouTube, too, that you can just listen to for like 24 hours there's straight. A, yeah. There's a Christmas puppy one, too. It's just puppies Ooh. with Santa hats just crawling all over each other. Yeah. I just watch that in, alone in my room sometimes. Alone in my room. <laughs> That's my holiday right there, yeah. <laughs> hey, we've, we, we've got two Audio 69s. Yay! Two Audio 69s. Right. Actually, you know what? There's one from July 15. What? There's one from June 13. June 2013 Tweet and those one people, from December even though they're not involved and just like, you get a <laughs> just, so there, there was three audio 69s before the fresh one today hmm. wow. there's only five of them total and you've got two so we need more yeah. All right, we're taking it over. Audio 69. It's, called, it's called trending. We're getting that. Yeah, I, I, it's not you got to have at too. least three to trend, I've heard. But that's, um... We need one more then. Come on. <laughs> oh, damn. So close. Should I just tweet Audio 69 right now? <laughs> yeah, just so, yeah. Oh, I didn't tweet do. it yet. Right, I, I didn't tweet I, either. I, I have, we I can make it trend with the four more. of us in here. Yeah, we I haven't do done that. it yet. No. Oh, shoot. We're going to... Twitter's going to have to shut down. Yeah, we're going like, to we're going to yeah. break Twitter. Break the internet? Break the internet. You know, I was at work... When Michael Jackson died, mm-hmm. and when they announced he died, all the computers went down at work. Whoa! Really? And we're trying to figure out all the internet started running real slow. And they said what happened was it wasn't just us; a bunch of different people were on because the, there was like I don't know how many 121 dealers on the same deal all over the place that everyone was searching at the same time to, and it oh, killed the server. Wow. Oh wow! That's yeah. crazy. That's what they said. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I didn't I believe I was him. driving when I heard that he died, so... I think I was at work, I think. Was it on a weekday? I was at work. Yeah, it was a weekday. I was at work, too. Yeah, we were all at work. I don't really remember. I don't think our phones were as smart, so you still had to ask people. Oh, yeah. I was on, I I was on, on my radio. work computer yeah. just not doing work, probably. That's what, that's what I did. <laughs> there it was. Slowing <laughs> it down. Yeah. <laughs> and there it was. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it man. was old school. The people in the, the secretary heard it, and she told someone, and they came all the way. Yeah, back to I me. think I think I was one of the first people to break it in my house. I felt pretty good, you know. Just, I felt pretty oh good. Oh my god, did you guys hear? Did you guys hear about the bad news? It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> my bad news voice. It's a real Cosby esque bad yeah. news Very voice. What's the name I mean, of bad anything news? he's saying is probably bad news at this point. But. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> no. That, no. That was a slow burn thing, the Bill Cosby thing was. Yeah. That was like yeah. a, that wasn't like a thing that came out immediately. That was like a slowly over time. Well, yeah, I guess it was, I guess it was known underground, basically. Yeah, that's you know, crazy between people for years and years, and then uh, Hannibal said it out loud, and then yeah, it just, that it, was it, the moment. That was a and thing he I was didn't even mean to. Yeah. He was yeah. just like, no one pays attention to that, and then it was like, boom. But then now everybody's. Uh-huh. Then when people started talking about it, there's a Thirty Rock episode where Tina Fey talks about it like three years ago, four years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah. Tracy Morgan. Mm. Um, it's the one where um, oh, is Tracy Morgan in uh, the, the the boss. Alec Jack, Baldwin. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Jack, yeah, Jack yeah. kind of imper- impersonates Tracy because he's in a slump. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, and he says, uh, Tracy Morgan turns into little Tracy Morgan, you know. Mr. Cosby, that's not my mom. Get off my mom. Oh, jeez. Like that. that was like three, four oh, years ago. That's yeah. weird. That's like weird, like uh, when people look for conspiracy theories, like the things, those subtle hints that yeah. people drop, you know, but it's Threw real. Threw it out there, it didn't <laughs> stick until uh, Hannibal did it, and then... yeah. There it took, and he's well. Done. Last night at the Emmys, did you see that? Yes, that see. was, and so they, so he I didn't goes, see the Emmys. Oh, no, and uh, everybody, welcome, Doctor Bill Cosby. Like they say, like he's gonna come out, and no one comes out, and then Jimmy Kimmel comes back out, and he's like, I just wanted to see what you guys would do, right? <laughs> yeah. But the close up of Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, 
They were like, and you stunned. see Tina go, "Is someone doing a Cosby joke right now?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was perfect. like the, it was they come in from a commercial break, so it was, "Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. William Cosby." <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking funny. It was really. I thought yeah. it was hilarious when he came back out and he was like, "I just wanted I to just see wanted what to, you guys would do." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was great. that was good. You know what? So I he's think he's not here. He's not here. <laughs> I think I found the um, video of that scene. Really? Oh, yeah, it's on. Um... Oh, we got another Audio 69. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Oh, we got another one? Yeah. We're just nice. racking They're blowing them up. up. Right so it's three, right? Keeping track of we're trending. <laughs> yeah, it's all it takes. All right, I got to do it. This is exciting because now I can sing dumb songs in another show. <laughs> this makes me feel good. <laughs> When do you guys do your shows? When you when when is your day? Just you do like it? an hour before. No, <laughs> yeah, no. I mean like a Monday or two. What's Usually your, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, yeah we norm- and then we put them out on Wednesdays. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha, you can yeah. subscribe on iTunes. Hug Life Podcast. Hug Life Podcast dot com. You yep. could g- e- you could Gmail us. I almost said Gmail instead of email. It's a special kind of email. <laughs> you can All email right. us. Hug Life. All right, turn around. They, 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 turn around. Subscribe. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. yeah. There Makes it is. Makes you feel nice. Subscribe. Yeah, I've got you a, rate and review. <laughs> yeah, I've got, a, I've got it on mine on Podcast Addict, and every time a new one comes up, it goes, bloop, updated, and oh, I'm like, awesome. boom. I freaking love that. Oh, now that, now we're going to try it. This might be it. Should we see if it's it? I'm going to see if it's what it. What are you doing? 30 this Rock? Is the 30 Rock episode. I think this is it. Give it a go. Do you hear that? No. no, I know. I'm just kidding. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> I like how everyone just looked at me like, "What?" No. Well, at first I was like, "If you can hear it and I can't, then I am That's I having kinda, a stroke?" It's kind of shitty. No. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is it. Worked in a Kim Wushu factory, and he had a droopy lip due to an unintended root canal. I think I can do this. Okay, go. I'm mad at you, Dad. Hey, dummy! I'm mad at you too. Why you gotta act out that way? Uh, that's not exactly what I had. Cause you left me, Dad. I was young and confused, and your mom didn't want me around no more. Oh, the that's it. Dad, Is this true, Mom? <laughs> it's making me laugh, but it's not it. He gambled away my welfare check, woman. I got a mind to smack you upside the head. Uh, this is not. <laughs> that's helpful. not the one. It is one. Is it? Yeah, keep going. Be me now. I only act out because I want your love. That don't mind. I think we're just doing good times now. Now do the right dude that my mom's left my dad for. <laughs> now see here, Tracy. It's impolite to slurp <gasps> one soup. Oh, no need to resort to ugly stereotypes. <laughs> you always gonna be my son. Tracy, just because I stopped loving your dad doesn't mean we stop loving you. Stop putting words in my mouth, woman. Oye, papi, kaya, take the fast sleeping. Mind your own damn business, Mrs. Rodriguez. Uh, all right, this is ridiculous. Lady. Just because I'm an ignorant black man and you paid me a nickel to bust up your shit for home doesn't give you the right to call me ridiculous just because I'm proud of my son. All right, that might not be it. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave something that long. It's not it. No, it's not it. Fantastic. I was like, it, it was... <laughs> now oh I, my got, God. I, did, I just found it. Did you find it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, so yeah, I, I want to hear it because I never heard it. Okay, this is a minute, so we're good. Yeah, a minute. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's go. No commercials. Ever wonder why ah, your contact commercial lenses you may bother you? I do right. wonder why That's my right. contact lenses bother me, though. Keep playing. There's breathability. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exceptional. Breathability. Oh, At Alcon, we took that as a challenge. He's holding, Ooh. Ooh. He's holding it with his, his finger the way you're supposed one. to. The first and only this lens. This commercial's about science. That's why I love it. To increase the commercial's longer than the bit. So all that touches your eye is a question. What if the end of this contact commercial is a terrible Bill Cosby impression? For a free trial offer, visit Daily's Total One. These guys owe us some money. Yeah. There we go. Hey, you needed me? Lemon, you know Rick from accounting? I don't. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I've arranged for one of Tracy's childhood idols to reach out to him. Yeah, this is it. Hello? Uh, Tracy, this is Jack. I have someone here who wants to speak with you. Tracy, this is Bill Cosby. Oh, shit. This is your strategy. All right, I'll do this at a party. I want you to come back to the TGS for the people who like the jokes and the things. Bill Cosby, you got a lot of nerve getting on the phone with me after what you did to my Aunt Paulette. I think you're confusing me with someone else. 1971, Cincinnati. She was a cocktail waitress with the droopy eye. I'm the guy with the pudding. You try to tell me what to do? <laughs> Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable with your light-ass kids. 
Jack, why would you make me talk to this man? Uh, Tracy, don't hang up. Uh, yeah, Tracy, this is Billy D. Williams. I just want to say I love your work. It's very small. <laughs> Wow. 2009. Ooh. That's great. 09. 09, yeah. Dang. That is crazy. It's so it's like it's like one of those just secrets that everyone knew about that Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of that industry stuff where everybody's like, "Yeah, we knew that, but we just don't talk about it." Well, back then in the 70s, it was nothing to talk about. That's how people did shit. Well, yeah, and you it, know? I mean, all of the original ones he they went to court for some of them, right? And they just like settled it or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think so. Right? I think, I think he, he did. Did. I think he gave them money before they even said anything. So here. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I, had, I heard some other adulterous type of stuff that someone posted and I researched on a big comic and they said it's widely known and I'll just be quiet because I don't Yeah, I, I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. Huge. And I'm like, what? And it says everyone knows. Yeah. Just the way it is. Dude, write it in permanent marker on my arm. <laughs> do, you like, do, you, do you like Calvin Klein? <laughs> Those initials. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm yeah. figuring that out eventually. Yeah. I'm figuring that out. <laughs> Me, Coletta. No, I've heard to, a lot about that. Yeah, they used to... They used to <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Well, it used, to, it used to be... Well, it used to be a huge... It used to be a huge cologne in the 80s, in the mid-80s, because it was gender... Not gender-specific. It was CK1. So, um... Yeah, I have a Calvin Klein polo shirt. Oh, I still God. haven't figured out what <laughs> yeah, it is yet. Me, I feel just distracted so by me, me oh. Mongo. <laughs> wow, we're gonna take our first prick on that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, let me that, figure this out on my own. We're gonna let Mike marinate okay. on that yeah. one. <laughs> uh, give us a call. <laughs> give us a call after the break. 909-360-8330. We'll be right back and explain this to uh, Mike at uh, break. Um, holy smoke. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. I can't believe I can't. Welcome back to the Roy and Jimmy thing here on chaoticradio.com. Go is this, ahead. Is this like a dick move playing freaking um, Seattle shit? No, I, I thought that's what I think it's great. It might, yeah, might be yeah. in it my, makes me in my, feel like I'm at home. Am I, am I profiling? No, it makes me feel like I'm depressed in flannel. It's okay. Good. It feels nice. <laughs> just don't pick up the All top. you need to do is like Raining. lightly dr- just drizzle water on me. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel at home. Nice. <laughs> Have you been up there, Roy? Seattle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. 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 You never have? Never. I, went, I went up uh, about... Three years ago, yeah, we went up and spent about four days up there. Was it nice the to you? Was it the was, city good to you? It was. It was okay. What time of year did you go? Yeah, that's I went in uh, this time of year actually. So like October. So I got so there. right when it starts raining. Yeah, I got there. It was sunny and clear and freezing, and then yeah, the next, it does next that. three days it was rainy and warm. Yeah. yeah. Right. That, that, See, uh-huh. I love that rainy warm though. It's yeah. like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And so. I wasn't right in Seattle. I was in um, a town with. White something. White, White center? center? White Center, yes. Yeah. yeah. White Center. That's why yeah. you kind of had a hole. weird time, probably. <laughs> it, You're it, in White it, Center, it, man. Uh, the, the, my friend up there, she proclaims it as a shithole, but uh, <laughs> we bar. it was easy to bar hop. Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Easy to bar hop, drink all day. All dive night. bars live, You going to go man. back and yeah. visit South your friend? Because I have a White Center food recommendation for you right there was now. A, there was a great place we ate there. Go ahead and tell me the name. Maybe I don't know. It. Zippy's Burgers? Yes. That was it? That was it. Yes. That makes me so White Center, yep. And then uh, we, ended, are so good. we ended the drinking night at Max up on the top of the whatever that double street thing is. I don't know the street. And the very top is like Max Triangle Bar, and we were doing freaking karaoke and. Where shots. is that in relation oh. to the burger joint? That's um, all I know. <laughs> I, I want to say yeah. I, I want to say North without knowing the. That direction That sounds of right that. to me. That yeah. sounds perfect to me. Yeah, but easy to bar hop. And then That's there's good. a there's a seafood place where they, they put it on a be, you know one of those things you uh, dump it on the paper. crab pot. Yeah. 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 Crab pot and just. just put Name, just name a restaurant Damn, description and I'll this. nail it. He's all you about got this. I've never eaten there before. I just go I on uh, Google sometimes and just, and just fantasize. Look around you. Yeah, what's around crab you? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I want to go to the crab pot. It's cool. Any restaurant that gives you a bib, like a real bib. Yeah, yeah. that's what you and need. You know, some it's shit's like about to go down. Butcher paper on the uh, butcher, yeah, exactly. butcher, butcher paper, paper on the table. And then just like throw all of it on the table. Yeah, and you just. You yeah, just, you, you just make a mess. You can't. You caveman it. That's what we should get for the podcast, Monica. Is custom bibs. You know, 
<laughs> like, you think people nice would bibs? buy that? No, just for us. Oh, not for to wear during the podcast? Or yeah, just because I think we should all start eating on the podcast because everyone loves that. Everyone loves that. <laughs> yeah, when you just stop talking and then you can just hear everyone people loves, yeah. chewing. Just, yeah. Everyone loves that noise. Yeah, <laughs> right. good noise. I mean, it, it sells Carl's Junior Burgers all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I turned. I, I hit mute on that. Yeah, <laughs> she That's one of my one of my peeves. I, uh, I, I don't like Carl's Jr. Is that a is that blasphemy? Is that okay? No, that's all right. Right. You're allowed. It's okay. okay. I've had a bad experience. Dude, yeah. dude. Yes. The fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who invited him? Look at this little, little piece of shit. <laughs> doesn't like Are you kidding me. Carl's Jr. <laughs> I, I don't. If it's got a drive through and it'll leak through a brown paper bag, you're into uh, it. Into it. That's all yeah. it takes. I actually, I did actually do the Whopperito. Oh, We've tell me all about, about it. it. I did the Whopperito. This is going to go That's way the, off the rails here. Oh, <laughs> I, I saw the commercial, and Roy, he had one last year. It was called the, the oh my Yumbo. God. The Yumbo. They had What's a, the Yumbo? The Yumbo. It, was, it was like when they first started, they used to do it. This is what, Burger King? Yeah. Yeah. And then they did a Yumbo, so it was like... It was like a sandwich with like turkey and ham and like a club sandwich on a uh-huh. bun. And I'm like, oh my God, that Yumbo looks good. Like on a roll kind on of On a thing. roll. Like... Okay. like but it, yeah. was, it was the biggest piece of shit sandwich. Oh, <laughs> no. So I was so... But you know what it needed, though? I think it could have saved itself. Mm-hmm. If they would have, like, got together with Arby's. Ooh. And then put, like, some horsey sauce and barbecue sauce on it. Stop digging, you struck oil. It's so good. <laughs> Sounds so good. <laughs> horsey sauce is the deal He's, for me. Once oh, you said Arby's, yeah. it was... Once you said Arby's. Fun. I always go, like, Monica, you know, I haven't had a long time. Arby's. Arby's. And she's like, we're not going to Arby's. <laughs> you can you, do that. I just almost died the last time I had Arby's. How many? I just want people to go with me to these fast food restaurants and dine in. Like, that's the thing my brother and I love to do. Let's just dine go in, fast, yeah. just But you dine have in. a problem with me going and not getting anything. Yeah, I mean, so, it weirds me out. Which is fine. Like, I'll go. I'm just I just need to get, get over anything, that, so. I yeah. think. I mean, we're going to do that tonight later anyway. We're going to go to a fast food. That's like Monica, Monica's like taking your taking your pet for a ride. Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah, just roll the window down. Right, I'll yeah. I'll just be fine. The window down. I'm pretty... I, like I don't know. I just seat. I rate fast food places like if they have ketchup pumps versus packets. You know, <laughs> like if they have new bathroom facilities. You know what well, I mean? Because he needs to use it immediately after he well, eats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right then, <laughs> like, as we know. Yeah, yeah, immediately. Yeah. Oh, man, but yeah. so, so Waparito. Sorry. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, so, yeah, about yeah. It. so that. Yeah, so now skip over that. It. So that commercial came out, and okay. I, I, I'm one of them guys who I, I have to eat one of those things oh, when it I comes gotcha. out. You know? Come on, the, Jimmy. The give me the mental picture. Come on. And so the the Waparito, and we're like, "Are you fucking kidding me? You're putting a Whopper in a tortilla? Who are you trying okay. to fool?" And I'm yeah. like. And at home, I'll put trying to fall? I'll put anybody in. I'll put anything, anybody, anything in a tortilla. <laughs> put oh, yeah. anything, uh, anyone, anyone in a tortilla. I'll, I'll eat anyone in a I'll tortilla. I'll eat anything, anyone <laughs> in a tortilla. Yeah. yeah, anything in a tortilla is the way to go. So yeah. I saw that and I was intrigued. I said, because I know it's not going to be what it is on the TV. It's the, the picture. Mm-hmm. And I wish Johnny Cochran was still alive because I would class action all these sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> just for the, the posters right on now. the windows. <laughs> so, Waparito, me and my guy were driving and I said, you know what? Waparito. <laughs> and so it was time, and I dined in on it. Okay, that's oh, yeah. how special it was. Yeah. Dude, I, dined in. Dude. I had to do the Guy Fieri, you know, elbows out, freaking diners and drives, yeah. freaking mm-hmm. lunch. Yeah, it, as advertised. Really spend some that's good then. Yeah. This thing was as advertised and delicious. Really? Good. Yes. See, I've gotten some uh, ho-hum reviews of it, so I'm no. wondering if it's based on the Burger King you go to, like who puts the tender love and care into it. this thing is meetings look- where you talk about these things? <laughs> yeah. Like, where, where are you getting that, that these was reviews really, from? That's really the topic of the, the Mike Coletta Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm like. We well, asked the other Mike Coletta. I lied to you. I joined the Mike Coletta group, and I'm like, you guys try the Waparito yet? What's the thing? I never, <laughs> I never tried the, uh, the double down. Do. I never tried the Double down, and I regretted it. The KFC double down. Oh, is that the chicken the chicken sandwich and... with chicken? Is no, the bun? see, I love chicken. I can't do that. That just seems much. It yeah. Seems whoa, like whoa, a lot. Whoa, whoa, Isn't that just so? Chicken? It was fried how did chicken. Miss, how did was, I miss this? It was chicken. fried chicken, bacon, cheese, fried chicken. Oh no, I did do that. And you just consume it. I never did it. And then you consume it. <laughs> And then you consume it, preferably alone in the dark. Somewhere. You know what I? You know what I did? Yeah, like? that's shame food, right? Yeah, there. totally. Any, I don't know if they sauce st- when there's tears on it. <laughs> 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 they just expect you to cry right, on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> this sandwich is dry because you're not crying. <laughs> so I, I, what I liked for a while that's it's not a big was their bowl. With their mashed potatoes oh, yeah. and all oh, that stuff. Oh, the KFC Famous Bowl? Why, Are you yes. kidding me? The bowl was awesome. It's yes. still there. It's still it? there. Yeah, you I've can still get it. I have been I mean, we just... could go right now. We could just turn this off, right? All right, later. <laughs> Did you hear what Mike called it? KFC Famous Bowl? Uh, that's he knows exactly what it is. That's 
like because I'll do that. I'll put. I mean, at home, I'll just put like corn in my mashed potatoes and yeah, you mix it up and everything together. It's just taking the best part about like a a country dinner is like putting it it in a bowl. It was the perfect meal in the bowl. Yeah, Yeah. it's so good. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, it's better than that healthy shit from Pollo Loco with beans and chicken. I've never had El Pollo Loco Look before. Look at Monica's like, like I like that. Of course yeah. you do. Look at you. The hell no. No. Dude, I never had El Pollo Loco. So you got a bad rating on that thing? You don't Not like at all. It? I don't. No. It just, I mean, it's beans and chicken. I went to uh, <laughs> Zan- Zankow, Zanku Chicken. Zanku, Zankow. I don't know how you say it. But uh, they have <laughs> okay. hummus and pickled vegetables inside, that, and weird. I got pissed. That's, I got real mad. <laughs> <laughs> Mediterranean, right? Yeah, yeah. I was super mad. And I was like, the chicken was dry, so I was like, I was going to say, dude, that's dry all the way through. Yeah, and then the I was, and the I was like, this was is dry. terrible. And I got really upset. My friends like, you don't like it, and they're just like downing it, like this is delicious. I'm like, I don't. Am I just having like? And that's one of those situations where I'm like, am I having a bad experience? Like, is this just not a good Zanku night? Is that what's going on? <laughs> no, like, this synergy off. off. Like, is this the beast? Is this the C team <laughs> behind the kitchen right now? And this varsity's out right now. Yeah, but they liked it, so it was it was. Gotta get those Friday night lights. Zanku never gonna get better unless you give them some playing time. I know, so. right? I gotta go in and coach them. I don't think they prefaced that enough for you before you went in. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> I was really exactly. upset. And I spent like 10 or 11 bucks. It was not good, man. Yeah, exactly. It's pricey, but it, it's dry across the board. It's Yeah, it, yeah. it just bums me out because like, did you guys, I, I have a joke about it, so I don't want to donate it too much, but I used to do this thing in uh, high school called a McChurger where you take like a McDonald's double cheeseburger and you open it up and you put a whole McChicken inside. Okay. Have you guys done that before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. yep. well, because see, I've got the cheap, the cheap shit. I've mm-hmm. got the Jack in the Box. Oh yeah. And you get their their breakfast Jack. Uh huh. And you get a taco. You're gonna change my world right now, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I you get a breakfast Jack, and you open it up. Oh my gosh! All right, because yeah. it's just a little shitty breakfast. But yeah. the bun's good on a the breakfast. The bun is jack. good on a breakfast Jack. It's amazing. It's and buttery. It, it's wonderful. And then yeah. you buy the <laughs> shitty night. So you get two breakfast Jacks. Okay. And then two tacos. Uh-huh. So you're in, you're in this whole meal like four bucks. That's not bad. Right? Feels good. So you open the breakfast jack, you put the taco inside, and you have a brocco. Ooh. A brocco. That's, that's hey, Roy, did we just become best friends? I think we did. That's the best day of my life. That's there. so good. You're combining breakfast tacos. Ooh. Ooh, I'm now, so excited. Now, I hear if you, go to, if you go to, well, it used to be a big thing. Now, it's not a big deal, but you used to be able to go to McDonald's. Yeah. And they would sell you... It was like you did a quarter pounder or a Big Mac with, mm-hmm. and you could do it with a, um, um, what do you call it, egg McMuffin, and they would mix what? the two and put it together, oh. and that was a thing where they would put them together, and that was a big deal for a while. Here's a oh, McDonald's uh, hack if you uh, want to go there. One time, my girlfriend showed me this. They will take an apple pie and put it in the McFlurry machine. Oh no! Get out of yeah, here! Yeah, they will. They will do that. They will do that really if you ask the world them to. Right now, okay. Yeah, yeah, because that's what we tried to do, anyways. After we get those, yeah, my girlfriend showed me that, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta stay with this one. This yeah, is the best thing. That's a great yeah, one. Well, we, you know, we heard about the the, the, like. the secret menu at In and Out. Yeah, uh, you know, I, so. I mean, I, I'm kind of, uh, I mean, I'm In and Out on In and Out. I don't know how to feel about it. Well, you're new, so we're gonna let that go. You're gonna let go. See, now I've said something that makes you guys upset, and you're not native, so it's all, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm still yeah. going to eat it. Like, if you're like, yeah. let's go to In-N-Out, I'm like, okay. They have a secret menu, and we didn't know they had a Neapolitan shake. Oh, my God. What? What? <laughs> yes. A Neapolitan shake. But you have to ask for it. This is the it. best thing in the world right now, because we're talking about food right now. I feel like food, so, comic books, and video games, whenever this yeah. comes up, and especially fast food, Monica, like... This, 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 is not, <laughs> this is not her wheelhouse. Right I mean, now. I'm not going to add Well, well he, he, here's the other thing McDonald's you could do. Oh, what's that? Is go, in, go ahead and get a double quarter pounder of cheese or a quarter pounder, whatever you like. Mm-hmm. You know, you're cutting a little back a little bit, just get a quarter. Okay. And tell them to add Mac sauce to it. Mm. Oh. So they put the Big Mac sauce on the quarter pounder. That's probably going to make it so much better because I think quarter pounders with cheese are kind of eh. Yeah, because you know what they need? Any burger for me or anything you can eat needs... <laughs> Mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise? Yes. See, what's interesting, I just became a mayonnaise guy. <laughs> Anything you could eat. Now I'm like Anything going through things. Mayonnaise. I'm like, is he putting it Ice in the cream, McFlurry? What's mayonnaise, happening? Like, brownie. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on any. I, I do this thing. You know how you do the corn, the Mexican corn, where you buy it from the guy or the Like fair? that grilled? Yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And then they put mayonnaise and all the stuff on it. You ever seen it where they put I've butter? Never, I've never had that before. Are you kidding me? You go to the it, fair and they give you corn on the cob. Yeah. I mean, I've had that. And then they put mayonnaise on it. And then they put all this other stuff, they put mayonnaise and chili powder and all that. Well, I took it one farther. So what you do is you just get a big bowl of corn. <laughs> I thought you were going to say mayonnaise. No, <laughs> it's like, com- just it, eat that. I think com- that's <laughs> And then you put the butter in it so it melts up together. Then the mayonnaise. Then little chili, chili powder to make it taste a little better. Now, if you want to take over the top, 
some potato bud mashed potatoes in it too. Oh man! And then drop some Parmesan cheese and some shredded cheese in it and bake it. That's incredible. <laughs> that sounds so it's like good. A baked famous bowl. <laughs> it's a baked famous bowl, <laughs> but without the chicken, you don't need any. So when you when stuff. you go to when you go to the store and get mayonnaise, like how much mayonnaise do you get at one time then? Costco. The heavy duty wow. mayonnaise? Are you freaking you kidding me? You get the me? heavy duty mayonnaise. Don't like this. Uh, yeah, I was hoping it says heavy duty mayonnaise on the side. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> Monica's so checked out. Mayonnaise also. is yeah, just like the grossest thing. It is thing the grossest thing in the world. I don't think she's writing this down. <laughs> I just heard. I remember going <laughs> yeah, to Costco. What should I do with my corn? No. I remember <laughs> going through there being like, there's a thing called heavy duty mayonnaise. Like, if regular mayonnaise is not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not doing the job. Yeah, it's not doing the job. You need to eat correctly. and glue stuff together at yeah. the same time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Line, line one, you're on the air. You want some mayonnaise? Yes. No, no, I'm not a, not a fan of mayonnaise. No. Uh, but you guys talking about you wanting to put anything in a tortilla, right? Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah, here we go. I'm so all excited. Right, bring it to go. me. Oh, we're all ready. All right. We're all amped up. All right. I'm on all the edge right. of my seat right any, now. Are any of you guys fans of In-N-Out? Crazy question. I know. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, I just said it was iffy on it, but I'm open to new ideas. All right, ready for this? I'm ready. No, we're ready, damn it. I'm, stop saying you're ready. I'm still ready. <laughs> Go to In-N-Out. Okay. Order a double-double mustard fried with chopped chili and throw that some bitch in a tortilla. Ooh. Right, what's what's, what's that? Fried? What's mustard fried mean? I don't hey, know. And it'll show I'm out. Roy's got to take a break after that. What's mustard fried mean? Must, you don't know what mustard No, fried. I just moved here. I'm a transplant. Help me out, buddy. I need you. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I just had this two weeks ago. <laughs> my boss ordered this for me. Your boss? So, what a great boss. Yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. He's better, than the la- he's, better, he's, better than the la- he's better than the last boss you had. Is this Roy? So, basically what they do for the mustard fried is, they get the patty. Before they slap it on the grill, they smother it with mustard. Lots of mustard. I'm wow. Into that. I'm, in. I'm, in. I'm into that. I will never, ever order in and out ever again without it being mustard fried. So you can just get anything like that, any burger like that, right? Yes. Oh, you might have yeah. just saved it and out for me, my friend. <laughs> yeah, the mustard, uh-huh. the mustard I'm, I'm brought, you. the mustard brought we Monica that in. Flame. Yeah. Embrace it. So yeah. when you when, okay when you when you get this stuff, let us understand. And you put it in the tortilla. <laughs> do you put the bun and everything in, or do you like cut it up and put it in, or do you just? <sighs> That's yeah, you know that's that's questionable. Or do you I have like you take the bun them. off and then that's like, like side style. like side garlic bread? Like you have garlic bread on the side, kind of make a little meal out of it. You know, light a candle, talk a Whoa, little. Whoa, talk whoa, to hold a on, wait a minute. Cold brew on the side. Wait a minute. Yeah. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. So if you do the mustard fried burger, if you uh, ask them to mustard grill your bun, well, ooh, will they do that? I heard. I heard after I found out about this that they do do that. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So that's what's so cool about In and Out. Now that I think about it, is they do have that secret menu and they'll do whatever you want to their original stuff they have. They don't have a lot, but they'll yeah, do crazy cool. stuff to it. That's, oh, you, a, that's the foundation. That's a, and and then you can just build on top. You of know it. what I found out? The exactly. one thing they don't do though that everyone reports they will hmm. is they will not put fries on your burger. Really? And people no, say that's part of that's that. part of your part of their secret menu. And they will not put fries on your burger. Well, can you, can you do that? You can do it yourself. yourself? Okay. Sure, that's well, self serve right there. DIY project it, right there. It's, yeah. it's different, you know. If, you, if they make it for you, yeah. it's magical. That's true, you're right. It's magical. I think we can find a way. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Life finds a way. <laughs> right. <laughs> we evolve. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to go to in and out now. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. You just changed my life forever. I appreciate you. Hey, thanks, Jay. You got it, guys. All right, man. Late. Wow. Look at that. A caller that was, that was not a comic. Dude, that just blew <laughs> my mind fun. a little bit. Jay is his name? Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you uh, so moment much. Of Jay. Silence You're for great, Jay. <laughs> moment of silence for Jay. Oh, I just, as soon as he <laughs> started talking about putting mustard on there, there was Mike. He was like, oh. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love mustard. And yeah. I'm just starting to eat mustard. I was really a picky eater when I was a little kid, and now I'm like growing. Still a picky eater. Yeah, but that's because now, I now here's don't see when I good stuff. When I was <laughs> younger and I, had, and, and I played football, like like teens, mm-hmm. I always had to cut weight. You know, I was like right like five pounds over. You know, one twenty. I was like one twenty two, and I always had. Yeah. So if I ate corn, mm-hmm. I couldn't have butter like everyone else. I used to put mustard on corn. Really? Oh, yeah. that wouldn't be bad at all. That'd be good. I put mustard on everything. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that the way that's even. Even when you went to elementary school and they give you the little corn thing on the side, yeah, I just get a little mustard packet and. Pfft, 
put on top. That's what the sound it made, too. <laughs> yeah, it is, that, it, that is the sound. You're, 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 good you're foley right. effects coming over here. Right now. <laughs> good foley. Good. It's like two, it's like two chicken wait, legs together. Wait, <laughs> we'll have the horse plop. I don't like mayonnaise, so mustard is what I got. Yeah, I and, and I get hell for the mayonnaise all the time because you know it's bad for you. I mean, if I get fries at home, Whatever. I'll get the mayonnaise. Dump. I'll I'll dip my fries in mayonnaise. What's your stance on Miracle Whip? Not love it. Oh really? We got yeah, a little strong. war right now. No, there's a, there's no. a, there's I like a, conflict. Here we go. Because it's a, mayonnaise, it's a strong. It's a strong yes over because here. Because here's the deal: really? Miracle Whip is not mayonnaise; it's salad dressing. No one said it was. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> See, told you, this Jesus. is why we're. This yeah. is why we're like this. Punches would be this thrown if you were so in the happy. same room. Yeah. I have never seen this much <laughs> argument over Miracle Whip. Never it's said not it an argument; it's a debate because that's a, that's what all the mayo fuckers come back at you with. <laughs> Hashtag mayo fuckers. I am, <laughs> I am Team MW over here, and it's never was said to be your mayo. So, do you like do you like Miracle Whip over regular mayonnaise? Yes. Wow. I do. Okay, so here's the deal: if you had a little spammy sandwich, he found these oh, freaking God. things. Yeah, dude, don't even spammy that's gonna, sandwich. Okay, here's the, uh, Jimmy. Yes. Please I, explain this to Mike. Okay. Here's dude. This these things a, are like over the called, top. Do you like spam? I like spam, yeah. I okay. like spam musubi okay. a lot. Okay, yeah, spam nice. musubi, yeah, very good. Okay, there's a it's a Filipino fast food place called Jolly Bee. Oh, I've heard of this place before. Okay, right, now you're going. Oh, they got one here. <laughs> they finally got one here in Ranch Cucamonga. So, so many I places to, go, to stop. I didn't have to go to. I didn't have to go to, I didn't have to go to Azusa or Glendale. Mm-hmm. Filipino fast food. They're McDonald's basically. All right. It's fried chicken. Okay, which is delish. Yeah. Spaghetti with hot dogs. In it, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and they have spammies, sandwiches, little sandwiches. They're probably like uh, maybe three inch by three inch cubes. Mm-hmm. Two pieces of bread that tastes like King's Hawaiian roll. Oh, mm. oh, mayo, mayo, and that's it. Mm. That's I good. See. That's really good. Now, did you, hear, now, did you hear what you just said? Mayo, not Miracle Whip. Oh yeah, no, no, because they didn't have. If they had Miracle Whip, I would have it. All right. There's a there's a grinder place I really like in Seattle that's called the Cropless, and it's not your. It's not a great pizza grinder place by any means. Okay, but what they do, they do it really well, and they season the mayonnaise, and that's what makes the sandwich so good. Okay, like season Italian them. seasoning, kind of. Have like, you ooh. have you ever ha- seen Tony's the seasoning Tony's? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Tony's and mayonnaise is the deal. It's gonna blow my mind. Yeah, Tony's and mayonnaise get it seasoned up the way you like it. Dude, I'm going to have to re-listen to it. I'm not writing anything down because I'm just going to re-listen to it. And then be like, oh, yeah. And I'll be like, you shouldn't get that excited over food. And I'll be like, yeah, I should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. it, it's actually too to late. It's time? actually too late. I'm that excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't taken a food turn in a long time in our show. Dude, well, anytime well. you guys want to take one, just have <laughs> 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 the entire show. See you, see you next one. It's called Collab. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Well, we found my fill-in host when I get sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine too. And we can take a night off once in a while. That's just just, just talk me in here by myself by talking himself. about food. <laughs> wow. Nice. Man. How about, okay, one more spaghetti. Okay. Regular spaghetti is awesome. Yeah. We There's Vince's. We all love Vince's. It's a place right here. It's it's just been around Italian. forever. Italian yeah. food. Yeah. Great There's spaghetti. a Vince's Italian. There's a Vince's in, in Renton, where yeah. I'm from, which is like... That's where we go. That's like my Italian place. At See, home. yeah, there you okay. go. So okay. you get it. You take it home because you. Could, I mean, to go, you just we'll get it and take it home. And I don't get to do it a lot because there's not a lot left over. But when it is, this is what I had when I was young and growing up. If we had leftover spaghetti, you'd throw it in a frying pan. No, turn on the pan, cast iron skillet because you want to get a little brown. Yeah, cut it up and break a couple eggs on it. Cook it all up together. Ooh, mm. breakfast spaghetti. <laughs> You're Mike. changing the game right My now. work here is done. You've done it. You've done so much. The minute that I mentioned it's the McTrigger the and then you mentioned the the Brocco, <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be tough. It's freaking soulmates. I got so tough. Oh, you didn't I'm get gonna, to finish your you sandwich. You rolled down that I, hill. I stepped on you. You didn't finish your No, your I finished it. It's a McTrigger. It's a, it's a McChicken inside a burger. That's all it okay. is. It's. I used to eat two of those before football. I would eat two of those. Large fry, large drink, and then I'd sometimes have an extra McChicken or McDouble on the side. <laughs> nice. How many regular roast beefs from Arby could you put down? Oh, man. I, mean, See, I never I, get the I regular because I always get beef and cheddars because I love those so much I, more. I, I can do the five for five and nail all five. Oh, Whoa. five for five. I could do that for Easy. sure. And, yeah, because and, they're and like air be, things. And it has to be equal. Horsey and... Um, mm, yes. Yeah. See, I would always get beef and cheddars 
Uh, but I remember when that five for five thing yeah. came to Auburn, Washington. I, I strayed into Ooh. the beef and cheddar, but I, 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 a purist is just do the roast beef, the buns, <laughs> and just fucking take. Did you ever take Arby's? Did you ever take the five for five and then take the little mozzarella sticks and put them on the roast beef sandwich? No, dude, I had not do that. Dude, I, I'm going to pull that clip where you just went. Ooh, I'm going to put that in the show you somewhere. Can, you can do that, and then it'll blow your mind. I mean, you can. I mean. There's a lot of things, which is weird though, because there's, there's some, a lot of now, things. You know there's, some, there's some sandwich places that I that do that kind of thing where they put like chicken fingers and onion rings and mozzarella sticks, and I don't like it. But for some reason, that just hit a chord with me. Well, you know, I, I wouldn't do that on purpose, but that's how my buffet plates end up being, anyways. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I put I, I can't. I'm not disciplined enough to go. This is the entree. This, this is, is the dessert. This is what this is I, the food. I pile the shit up on there. <laughs> so we're all we're probably all the same way. Do you ever meet people that are terrified of their food touching? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's something I'll never understand. Now, my, my no. girl's that way. She's got. There's some few things. There are rules of the land of the law. God said, do not. Let these things because that's on the my magic plate. of eating yeah. is you can combine these together and it tastes totally different. I'm down. If it happens, I give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all scientists here, folks. That's my buff- <laughs> that's my buffet plate. <laughs> shrimp my, my. pasta, corn on the cob. Ooh, shrimp pasta is great. And mashed potatoes taste great together. Ooh, you know what I used to do in college when I was working when I was in a theater department. And I Monica, Monica is so checked out right now. She has to say a word about five. This is my life. This is all the time. This is my last. <laughs> this is my last home. weird food combination that I would do in college when there was just a vending machine: Diet Coke, all right. Animal Crackers. I can see it. Weird, amazing combination. I will never understand why it tastes so good. And we were all doing it. We all got on this. And it was really weird. <laughs> we all got on this. We all jumped it's in. like there's a 12 step hey, for we're, it. We're all, what are you on? I'm on an animal yeah. cracker yeah. diet coke. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of drugs in college. I didn't drink in excess, but I was really into diet coke and animal crackers. <laughs> you didn't have to. Your sugar <laughs> level was too <laughs> was lying. Hey, I Col- was fueled. If, if Coletta says this works, we're in. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, that was like a that was like a twenty five minute tangent on food. <laughs> Just, yeah, why, why don't we take our last break? Let's get all this. <laughs> let's get all this. So sorry. Hey, let's in and out's right around the corner. I could probably this, make it back. Let's get all this food shit out of our heads and <laughs> finish. I make up. no guarantees. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, hey, I don't either. I, I, no, Roy's I, right. I, yeah. I, 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 I love you, Mike. I love you too, Roy. <laughs> no, no, you're great. Oh, you're great. God, you're great. Never change. <laughs> We're gonna take a break and hug it out. Yeah. <laughs> Heads on the left, then. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get out here for a minute. Give us a call after the break. Nine zero nine three six zero eight three three zero. We have Monica and Mike in here. It's been food talk. Uh, food <laughs> Network's got nothing on us, man. We'll see you back in a few. I'm sorry. Welcome back to the Food Talk Edition of the Roy and Jimmy thing here on ChaoticRadio.com. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Food Talk Edition's over. <laughs> well, I had one more to throw out. We're not going to go, but I, I had a college food. Someone just sent me on and it's a private message. It says, college food, dry dry cup of noodles and sour cream. Oh. No microwave needed. It stays a bit crunchy, so good. So there's another one. Wow. I'll try it. So we're back. I'll um, try it. Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> well, we have our, this our, our last half hour. Uh, if you got any questions for Mike and Monica, Roy or Jimmy, it's 909-360-8330, chaoticradio.com. Hey, guys, uh, real quick, there's a um, fundraiser coming up on Thursday, September 22nd at 8.30. Um, yeah, it's going to be at Splash Kingdom. It's the upstairs banquet room. Um, it'd mean a lot to us if you can get there. It's an event to help raise some money for Victoria Silverman. She'll actually be on uh, Brandon's show uh, Wednesday. And she's the 15-year-old girl that loves our station, and um, she's fighting um, uh, brain cancer and a bunch of stuff. So oh, um, come out and support. We'd really appreciate it. We're going to try to make a presence, presence, uh, presence there as well. So if you can come out and help with that, we would all appreciate it very much. And uh, listen in on Brandon's show on um, Wednesday night to the Rantaholic. She's going to be in studio. So um, give her a call, too. So please, yeah, she'd love to hear from us. So the yeah, Rantaholics. It's a Wednesday night, six to eight. So uh, if you can, please support. We we would all very much appreciate it. She's awesome and inspirational, and um, <coughs> you know, it just it's a horrible thing that's happened to her. But she's uh she's she's something else. So if you can do that, we would very much appreciate it. Excellent. Okay, um, Monica and Mike have some stuff for us. 
that they do on their podcast. Mm-hmm. We're going to play that now? Let's, let's get into it. Yeah, no, no, you want to get into that or you want to get into where they're at and where they're coming? We'll do them all. Well, we'll do that at the end. We'll okay. do that at the end. We'll, yeah, let's get into the games. Let's do some games. Let's games. do some games. Let's yeah. Jimmy Fallon this shit games. up. <laughs> <laughs> you got a thing on your show. You call it the top five turnaround. Top, top five turnaround. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go ahead and explain to everybody what that we is. We do. So, I pick the five worst of something each week. And then Mike and whoever our guests are. <laughs> We're teammates. So, Roy and Jimmy, you guys are on his team. You guys have to tell us why it's not that bad for each one, right? we got to okay. get a positive spin for each of Okay, the- oh, well, we, we've heard your show. Okay, we got it. Right. We got it. Okay. So, this week, uh, or whatever, for this show, I picked the five worst mistakes that everyone makes in high school. I feel Ooh. like school just started. Maybe, you know, we're going to help some people out. So, yeah. okay. these are the worst mistakes you would make in high school. Maybe you did make these mistakes. I don't know your life. You guys are going to tell us why probably a good thing that you made that mistake right you're gonna we're gonna give you the pot of positive spin mm-hmm. there's a these, good chance i did one of these things. things good chance i did a lot of them <laughs> <laughs> okay okay all right, <laughs> right. all right I'm, we're game we're game number one you're gonna pick a girl over your friends right? did it <laughs> happened <laughs> yeah, uh, i'm one for one so far why was that a good, good thing do you get a score Oh, he, whoa, maybe he did score. He didn't. He didn't. I didn't score. Are he you didn't kidding score. me? I drank four Mike's Hard Lemonades and confessed my love to her. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, but it's my lemonade. You're like, yeah. it's, I'm a lemonade company. Why don't you love me? <laughs> <laughs> and then she drove me in her truck to a gas station. My brother picked she me drove? up. She drove? Yeah, she drove. Nice. I was, I was, I drank four mics later. That means I was, I was hammered. <laughs> 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 and my brother picked me up at like a neutral location and took me home. <laughs> so she sad. A neutral location. Wow. Positive coming out that we became good friends with the girl. Yep. So you're okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that is positive. Yeah, you like that? I do. Okay. Boom. But you picked her over your friend. I did still. <laughs> okay, so why is that? <laughs> why is that a good thing? Well, I mean. It's a good thing to answer those sex-charged hormones you have as a man in uh, high school. If you get laid, that's a positive. But right. we found out you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. But if, if someone else does. using a poor example. If someone else does. Is that like the most serious he had? He talked tonight right there? Listen, yeah, it was the most man. serious. I thought, hey, guys, listen You know, up, really, guys, we're getting laid here. Hey, okay. dudes. <laughs> well, that, that would be positive if he did. Mm-hmm. Okay. A- anything else? Well, you guys, it's I hard, think, right? No, I, I think there's a positive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because you're going to find out if your boys are really your friends. There you oh, go. Oh, that's See? way better than right? mine. Yeah, right. <laughs> you killed it because because then they're going to be like, "No, nah, dude, man, I, I understand it, but I get it." Yeah, they're yeah. probably going to do it too at right. some point. So they're, like, they're probably very. It does. It does float around. It happens. We all did yeah. it. Like my group of friends. Well, at yeah, one point. And, and ultimately they're jealous because you actually are going to touch a girl. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> or not. But you know Maybe. What? You're in the game more than they are Just right now. a light now. hug, you know? <laughs> yeah. At that moment, though, you're in the game deep than they are. More yeah. deep they ever, they're ever going to be in high yeah. school. And then you got those bragging rights, dude. You, you guys are hanging out together. You know? Oh, you guys were playing Diablo 2 while I was not hooking up with this girl? hey <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Still friends on Facebook with the girl. That's nice. Good. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Great story. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, you're going to fight with your parents a lot. In high school, you fight with your parents Not a lot. Not at all. No, you didn't? No. I didn't? I didn't do that either. That's probably the time that I fought with them the most. Well, well you know what? That makes sense because that's when my sister did. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So just a girl thing? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a girl thing. I, won't, I don't want to just say that, but yes, that's when my sister really... I think a positive about that is that means you're forming your own opinions about oh. stuff. You're that's like okay. you're like forming your own opinions. Is that's why you're probably fighting is because you think you're like really starting to grow as a person. Because I feel like having opinions is the first thing that you get, <laughs> you know, because you don't have anything else. So <laughs> and, and establish that early. Yes. Yeah. With a positive, that's a that's tough. Also, when you fight with your parents, you look cool. Like, oh, look how much of a rebel Monica is. You know, she's fighting. Look with cool to who? Yeah. To kids with low self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to date with her and blow your friends off. Yeah. It's perfect. Right. That's right. 
I okay. I know I'm not supposed to jump in on this, but I did fight with my parents most in high school, and we actually communicate amazingly now. I think because of it, uh-huh. like there we you sure. like Same had with my to sister. actually work through stuff. We so. all have a great relationship. My mom and dad, and my sister was the one with the balls on that kind of deal, <laughs> and yeah, and we're all really tight. So you know, it's kind of like I would say the parents actually they'd be surprised and maybe pissed off, and then realize we raised her to be thinking to be yeah you know, independent yeah independent it's pissing us off but look what we did you know what now that i think about it see my brother fought more with my parents than i so maybe it's not necessarily a, a woman boy man boy thing man yeah. boy thing man boy, <laughs> man boy? <laughs> man man boy. Uh, it's like a siblings thing like one sibling does it and the other one doesn't got gotcha, you yeah L- line one yeah. you're on the air hi this is roberta from dayton ohio hi, hi roberta hey, roberta how are oh, wait, you guys wait, you guys wait, are wait. cracking me up tonight wait, wait. good uh, we missed you last week. Hang on, I gotta. I guess I gotta knock the dust off this thing. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> her, her favorite. Here's her Have favorite. Have you ever heard that? No. Here's her, here's her fuck, favorite. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, awesome. that's the greatest. That's a, the Tourette's guy on YouTube. Have you um, seen this guy? I've never Funny. seen it. It's oh, wonderful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. He, he, they, they, this guy comes out doing the, the whole... Fuck, 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 fuck. And then it's my guy brilliantly put it to music. Yeah. And so he did it to the Rocky thing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and that's that, so good. And that, that's my go-to for Roberta. So, so how how is Ohio tonight? Well, it could be better. My air conditioner went out no. at my house. Oh boy, so no, not good. I'm yeah, I like can't even go to sleep because I mean the house is like an oven, so what? I'm just laying there and just can't sleep. And then you just start talking about In and Out Burger, and I, I was <laughs> oh, let's dive right like, back hey, into the look food at, hour. But look at that. Here's oh, the man. deal. Here's the deal, Roberta. We're just doing that thing right now. Where, where's the positive? In a bad situation, right? Yeah. So where's the positive right. and your AC's not working? You can't sleep, so you're listening to us. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's right. So Score. here I am. That made it the top six turnaround. <laughs> top six turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Do you you're right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're, we're gonna let you chime in on this one because we're she's she's got the the top five turnaround going on. You just so joined we, the team, Roberta. Okay. Yeah. So we had the okay. the the parents and the uh, the fighting, fighting in high right. school. That was okay. All right, number three. Okay, number three. All right, uh, you're gonna see someone get bullied and not help them. Oh. I think we all did that, right? Positive. You stay cool. You know what I'm saying? You stay cool. No one cool. thinks you're a nerd. No one thinks you're a dumb nerd. In, in, hey. Yeah, in, in high school, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you do that. And if you did step up, then you were. It can go either way. It could boost your. your Don't be a hero. Yeah, it could, be, it could boost your rep. Going, this guy stood up for him, or it could be like oh, that idiot got his ass kicked. What yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's yeah, the positive and watching someone get their ass kicked. The positive. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what the positive is. You would feel yeah, great. Yeah. You no, know, the positive of that was you know not what to do to get your ass kicked and be a nerd. <laughs> exactly. Sure, yeah. Reverse role model. Keep it yeah. cool. Keep it, go. I ain't going to do that shit. I ain't going to wear a backpack and a flannel when we have lockers back in my day. Yeah. True. That's true. I'm not going to have a speed buggy lunchbox when everyone else doesn't. Is I'm it? Learn this thing. Did you have a speed buggy <laughs> getting, lunchbox? Getting deep here, Roy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted a speed buggy lunchbox. It's deep Roy childhood right now. I like it. Yes. <laughs> sound, sound like shit was surfacing right there. Right? Yeah, 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 right? That's Someone's like your Mike's Heart song. Lemonade moment right there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good, so where, where, where'd we get? Where are we at with that one? I think that's like, that was good. Pretty good? Mike, yeah, what, good. what was your take on that, Mike? Oh Please. man, put me on the spot. I think honestly, when you watch bullying, you get feel really uncomfortable. I, I would tell me not to bully someone, even though I'm not intervening. It's still just like that guy's a dick. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. Like just like by spectating, like you learn what not to do by watching someone else. That's so yeah. Yeah. okay, that's how I'm it down with that. Me. That was a great one. Thank you, Monica. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Number four. So, I mean, Everybody's like my speed buggy. Don't lunchbox. get a speed buggy lunchbox. <laughs> we learned that also. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No. Okay, number four. You're going to date someone that you think you're going to be with forever. Oh, I never dated anyone that in high school. always happens in high problem. school, right? Oh, man. I mean, it's, it's kind of like you're uh, 
test run relationship, though. Like, that's how you learn to be in a relationship. It's your first one. It's your throwaway, if you will. You gotta get that pain <laughs> out of the way. You <laughs> gotta get it out of the way, you know? I never did that, but you know. <laughs> the, the practice one? It's your practice run, yeah. You learn it's dating. A, it's, a, it's a mulligan marriage. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Very alliterative. I like that. Yeah, That's it's good. probably less expensive than a real divorce. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. And we, and we know you want to get divorced a lot of times. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's, really that's do. So, mm-hmm. And I had a relationship in high school where I was like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> so stupid. I think, I think so almost, stupid. I mean, not everybody, but like, and you're like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this and get married and shit. And you think you know everything. Maybe that's it. You realize you don't know everything. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. 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 Definitely affects the That's way. Really? And then you realize I your parents are right a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you fight with them. That's and then they bully you and keep you in your room. That's, this all just goes <laughs> crazy. That's the one thing I remember about high school the most is them being like, you think it's like the end all be all in high school. And then your parents are just laughing because they're like, it's just this high nothing. school. Yeah, you have so nothing. much more terrible things that are going to happen right, to you. Yeah. <laughs> your spirit is you still intact. No What's yeah. going on? You're so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah, it would prepare you. Do you think that if you had a relationship in high school, your relationship now would be different? Like oh, you would yeah. Treat it differently? I think it would not exist. <laughs> Honestly. You'd be more like me. I uh, yeah. just hate everyone. Yeah, we would just hate each other together. Cool. Hate each other together? Because cool. cool. I just hate you now. Yeah, that's all. I don't hate you at all. <laughs> it's just nonstop love coming towards you. That's uh-huh. what's going on right now. Good deal. All right, last one. And this is what I hear more than anything else from, like, my parents. You had a crush on someone, and you never told them. Oh. Right? People say that about my dad a lot. They're like, I had a crush on your dad, but I never told him. And I'm like... Who says that? Your friends? Cool. Not my friends. (laughs) Oh, no. no. Your podcast co-host says that sometimes? (laughs) All the (laughs) middle-aged smokers. It was crazy. The first year I knew you, Monica, I had a total crush on your dad. I think everybody would probably have a crush on my dad. I don't know. The best thing, the positive thing to me about that is you you could stay friends. You don't ruin the friendship by being like, because what if they reciprocated back and they were like, whoa. You know, yeah. It, you, I I look back out at my high school crushes, going, okay, now as uh, that was sweet. She was cute. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be life changing back then. No. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, I, it, I think maybe the one regret is you know what? I, I, maybe I could have kissed her. You know, but uh, do you have a certain person in mind right now, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. There's the other yeah, one. I, I, could I, I hear a full name and social security was, number yeah. real quick for me? I could probably look that up. <laughs> um, I could probably look that up. <laughs> Social security. <laughs> I want to check her credit score. I want to make sure she's good for you. Super yeah. important. Check that credit score. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You know, I was way too shy to even do anything, so I already accept that. So it's just you know, it's a cute remembrance. Is what yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good memory. Yeah, and it's it could like, have been a terrible a memory. memory. It could have been terrible, right? Yeah, it, it exactly. Obviously, it was high school, so it wasn't going to be forever. So. It could have. What's going over there, Roberta? Was you okay? Wait, wait, oh, wait, she dropped. She, are you drinking a freaking Neapolitan shake? Yeah, that, I'm sounded, that. that sounded like the bottom of a shake. <laughs> Are you hydrating? If it's that hot in there, you need to hydrate. Yeah, I'm hydrating. I do. I'm with a straw, so that's what you heard is my yeah. me hitting the rock bottom. <laughs> what are you hydrating with you're right hydrating, now, yeah, Roberta? You're hydrating with? If it's <laughs> water, you have not hit rock just, bottom yet. Yeah, you're just drinking really wine healthy. out of a straw. Huh, I guess. You just put the straw in the Franzia box. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an you're adult Capri right Sun. Right That's <laughs> good, adult Capri. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I put it in a cup first, and then I drink it the straw. There you go. Classy. <laughs> I feel yeah. Classy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I do have the vino in a box. Yes. Oh, nice. There you go. Franzia rosé. I used refreshing to refreshing white. Yeah, refreshing my favorite. That's, my that's, favorite. that's what they used to call Mike in high school. Refreshing, refreshing white. white. <laughs> we used that to take the uh, we used to take the Franzia boxes and you take it out of the box and you blow up the bag and it becomes like a wine bong because it'll like shoot the wine out. <laughs> So you flip the bag upside down and you put the box in your head and my friends would make like whooshing noises and we call it space traveling. <laughs> That's what we used to do. <laughs> my friends, he means only dudes. Only dudes. It was only dudes. dudes. Was only dudes. dudes. You, you, made just me. Of, you made fun of my speed buggy. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a pretty good. Pretty that good was a great top five yeah. turnaround. Yeah, yeah it was very fun. good. Good job, team. Yeah, good, good job, job, team. team. High five. Oh, team. High five. High fives all around. Oh shoot! Oh my god! <laughs> the box on your head, dude. Now, now we have something here. We do. Oh, Every okay. Week, I'm excited. No, no. It, we saved it. We saved it for this moment. We're not Ooh, late. We're not late excited. at all. 
And Monica did it the last time she was here. Did okay. I? I think so. We call it the Roy and Jimmy thing Great Eight Quiz. Great Eight Quiz? Oh, okay. Yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, you and Denise were in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we found out Denise didn't cuss. Remember? <laughs> It's just the contrast between me and her that really brought yeah, it was, out. The, the movie thing we did. Remember, she yeah blindly read a script and it had cuss words and she froze. She never, she never. She ever? doesn't. She just, she doesn't prefer it. No. Wow. But we found out during cool. cuss cuss time, which is not the best time to find it. <laughs> Anyways, what's her, what what what's her fucking problem? <laughs> Thank you. She doesn't drink enough, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that box of wine is almost empty right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. So, anyways, this is the, the Great Eight Quiz. Mike Coletta, you're up. I'm up. Okay. These are eight questions. There's no right or wrongs. It's just yes or no, or whatever you want to answer okay. to it. It's just gotta go quick, right? And, I gotta go quick. Well, uh, we, we're good. We're good with it and stuff. Okay, I can't. You, you have to go you quick. You saw my food, food segment. Yeah. It's not gonna go by quickly. <laughs> and I like face. how you're calling it a segment now. Like yeah, it wasn't exactly. just a fucking tangent. <laughs> it's, what, <laughs> it's what we do on our show now. <laughs> right. We're gonna have some intro music. You'll be in every week. Mike's food segment. <laughs> Mike's food segment. Welcome. It's also known as the Hug Life Podcast. Just listen to that. <laughs> AKA. Formerly the Hug Life Podcast. <laughs> All right, Mike, here we go. The Great Eight Quiz, Mike Coletta. Question number one. Fallon or Kimmel? Fallon. All right. Surprising. I, I you like it. Guy. I like it. I, everyone's... Can I be? Kimmel. Can I tell you why? Well, I actually haven't watched a lot of Jimmy Kimmel. I, I, that's only because I've watched Fallon more. Gotcha. It's not... Yeah, it's not a, a hating... I loved The Man Show when I was a kid. There you Jimmy go. Jimmy Kimmel. So. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. No right or wrongs. What I'm saying. <laughs> like I feel like I, I, I still, have to justify. I don't, if you everyone, gotta, it's still nice to everyone. Are scary, and I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you gotta, if you gotta explain it, you gotta explain it. Yeah. That's okay here. Okay. And number two. What is your chill music? What is your go-to on music? I love Coldplay so much. Get out of here! Really? I do love it so much. Monica, really? I love it. Yeah, I mean, she, he doesn't play it around me because I'll throw it out the window. Yeah, but I love it. If well, I'm in the car, <laughs> if I'm in the car alone, it's Coldplay. He's just crying it's and Death driving. Cab for Cutie, are and it's just, Bon Iver. Are you just cr- are you, you're crushing yellow on the way home? Yeah, yeah, I'm crushing yellow, hitting all the hitting all those notes and clocks. You know what I mean? I I'm saw, just doing I, it. Oh, I saw Monica's head do just a little tilt when you said Coldplay, and I just went, oh yeah. Just <laughs> tears roll down my face while the scientist plays. That's and, what and, and same with Monica. Yeah, <laughs> tears are coming down her face I too. Am, yes, whenever. He he plays Coldplay. I cry also. <laughs> She's like, why did I start a podcast with this person? <laughs> okay, uh, number three, comic inspiration, idol, mentor. W- what really got you, makes you... Pat Oswalt wanted made me want to do stand-up comedy. Emmy winning. Emmy winning, Pat Oswalt. Yeah, That's I right. had Werewolves and Lollipops and Feeling Kind of Patton. My brother and I would listen to those on the way back and forth from Pullman my freshman year and sophomore year Yeah, when I didn't know what I wanted to do. And uh, that's what made me want to do comedy. I wasn't really into a stand-up until I saw, it was on Netflix, it's him and four other comics, and I think they toured the around comedians you guys. Comedy. comedy. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah that's like the first appearances of Zach that, Galifianakis, really, in like the public eye. Yeah, and, and that Bamford. was a great documentary. That's or, great. Yeah, and uh, one another Seattle guy, D'Artagnan London. Do you yeah, guys know him? D'Artagnan yeah. London, yeah. Yes. I know him. Dart is... He's in the awesome. crowd. Yeah, tell him, tell him <laughs> I so miss funny. his new kids on the block lunchbox. I will tell him Aww. that. So... I don't tell them when I see him. Yeah, so Pat and Oswald, very good. Him in a long time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Go to comedy movie. You can pick two. I can pick two. Yeah, <laughs> Heavyweights. It's a movie about Fat Camp. It's a kids movie. It's a Disney movie. <laughs> ben Stiller. Ben Stiller right? plays the exact same character he plays in Dodgeball in it. It's like oh. the same guy to the point where they want to. I feel like some people say they're connected when really I don't think they are. It's like those Disney conspiracies where they're like they're actually. The same but it's person. the same. Yeah. It's the same character. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. It's really. Yeah. I mean, you only make me pick two. This is tough. Um, I only made you want to pick one. This was the first. This was the first I, I R-rated movie I saw in theaters when my friend's dad took me to an advanced screening of Old School. Nice with yeah with Will Ferrell. It's gone. You know how much shit I caught about a, two months ago because I've still not seen Old School. It's a great, it's a great movie. movie. It's like yeah. one of the, it's it's so it, it, it blew like when they were doing the cement brick drop and yeah. I didn't entirely know what was going on <laughs> when I was a kid and then I re- it clicked and it, I just lost it. It's so funny. It's, it's a great stupid movie. funny. It's one of those you can watch over it. and over. It's really yeah, good. It's yeah. really good. And you'll so, you'll find funny shit every time you watch it. Yeah, and then if, it, if can I choose a third real quick? Blazing Do it. Saddles. That's a, okay. Of course. There, there we go. You got right. it. That's my three. You've got it. Good. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, number five. The last thing that pissed you off. It could be major, could be minor. 
It could be non important, could be tragic. What's the last thing? Oh, it was L- it was LA traffic today. LA traffic. It was LA traffic today. Always a great answer. That's not I mean that's yeah, that was the last thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. LA traffic on a Sunday pisses me off more than the weekend. Yeah. I had to actually say that's why I stopped at McDonald's because I'm like, if I'm gonna get through this traffic, I need food <laughs> to drive through this emotional to drive from Venice back to the valley tra- at five o'clock in the I afternoon. Need some psychological comfort. I yeah. need to bring it in. All right. Number six, your pizza leftovers. Warmed up or cold? Warmed up, 100%. You, you every take time. the time? I take the time. You like take Usually the time. I nuke it for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds, because I don't like it hot. I like it just warm. Right. To the point where if pizza's left on the counter the night before, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you we, know what you do is, it, <laughs> there it is. Put, put it in a baggie uh-huh. and not put it in the fridge. And overnight, it's That's, already it's already like microwaved for you right there. See, I'll just leave it in the box. I don't even care. Yeah. I'll throw it on the ground. Yeah. Leave it I, off the I, floor. I, 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 appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate and admire the people who take the time. To do the microwave. We yeah. had a guest in here, and yes. he actually takes it, puts it in the frying pan. Yeah, I've heard about that. I was actually just supposed to say it. The frying yeah. pan method is Add apparently the best to way. it, and he gourmets the shit out. Yeah, because apparently that actually makes the cheese and the crust heat the right way. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That's what we heard, too. Mm-hmm. Shit, back to food. All right. We're, we're <laughs> Always. There's no Always. way to get to stay away from it, okay. honestly. Yeah. Okay, number seven. What is your favorite cuss word? Uh, I think I'm a I'm a uh, it's not a cuss but I think shit is my favorite cuss. Are you word. a shit guy? I like saying shit. Okay, but I love the word douche more than anything because <laughs> you can combine douche with other things like douche burger or douche yeah. rocket. It's That's fun true. to combine it. <laughs> douche rocket. Yeah. Hashtag douche rocket. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that with other other words. Yeah, I think that's actually like, our product. Douche rocket. <laughs> douche rocket. <laughs> probably yeah, is the gal on the go. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite cuss word, Monica? I don't. Do you remember what yours was? I don't know. You throw one out there now. What, what would be? Like I'm it? tempted to say the c word. Like, but I think that's what I said. You know what? I, I, maybe I for the same reason because I've called someone a cunt burrito before. Yeah, that's nice. Funny. We what was it we heard on this show? And you found out you'd anything the- on a tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> Like terrifying. Oh, it was like cunt- cuntingly. Cuntingly. That was, cuntingly. That was, that's nice. that was funny. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, I, I love that word, obviously, for the bad thing there, but I got to thank Bill Burr and his podcast for bringing cunt back to the masses because he uses it properly. You know you what know? the best is? Uh, Veep, the show Veep. Amazing yeah. show. They have an episode just called Cuntgate cunt- where cunt- someone gate? calls her that on the internet and yep. they try to find out who it is and then they learn it's the staff. <laughs> Yeah, they knew it was somebody on the staff. Yeah. They were trying to figure out which one it was. Oh, yeah. But the the good part about that the the cunt being out there is my girlfriend listens to Bill Burr and she says cunt, that's which is awesome. just that's liberation for yeah. me. That's my yeah. Yeah. that's my feminism. It's really a right feminist there. movement yeah. for sure. So Can't someone cuts a, back, someone you know? cut us off, cut her off. The fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the best. That's it's awesome. a it's been liberating and stuff. All right, good one, Monica. Thank Mike, you. you have one more. Are you ready? One more question. Ready? One more here. What is number eight? What is the best impression you do? Everyone does an impression. And it could be, doesn't have to be famous. It could be roommate. It could be Monica. It could be anything. My Monica impression is not good. Um, <laughs> my, I do, Monica likes this the best. And it's, uh, it's my radio DJ yes. and my strip club DJ are the exact same voice. <laughs> okay, It's like, coming to the main stage live here in beautiful, sunny, Simi Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's my favorite one to do. Nice, yeah. very nice. Just generic radio guy. Generic radio guy. That's that's okay. That's yeah, good. That's Excellent. Mike Aladdin, the great day quiz. Yes. Good job, buddy. So tell us where you guys are going to be. Uh, Quit. Monica, do you have it in front of you? I don't have it. Um, the twenty fourth. I'm at the West Side Comedy Theater in Santa Monica. Twenty eighth, the Van Nuys Comedy Club. Twenty ninth, the Pachanga. Is that how you say it? Pachanga. That's how you say Casino. it. Casino. Yeah. We're filming for laughs on What's Fox. The- Okay, uh, real quick, I'm going to jump in there. Uh, our buddy Sean Williams is opening at Pechanga this weekend, so Friday and Saturday night. Uh, he's opening, I think, Roy ha- Harbor or Haber, I believe is the comic. But yeah. Sean Williams, opening weekend for him. We're real proud of him. Stuff, I like so. Sean. Nice. He's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then October 1st, I'm at the West Side Comedy Theater again. <gasps> I go to Chicago and New York. Really? Because that's October 1st. I'm at the West Side Comedy <gasps> Theater for the 12 Shane yeah, Show. The, well, you know, Carpool Ooh. City. You, know you what? ready? October. With Coldplay playing. <laughs> With Coldplay no. playing the whole time. No. Yeah, I mean, the I, bus. October, October, <laughs> second, October 2nd, I'm probably driving right by there. Ooh. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> Do it. 
Uh, October 3rd, I'm at the Crispy Comedy Show in uh, the Universal Bar and Grill Chris, in North Chris, Hollywood. Chris uh, Putra. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, And then uh, on uh, October 7th, <laughs> no, 8th through 10th, I am emceeing my father's third annual Port Aransas, Texas Plywood and Boat Festival. Nice. <laughs> Damn right you are. I am so you're in Port Aransas. You the are third annual Port Aransas Plywood right. and Boat Festival is the number one plywood and boat festival that's, in that's, the state of Texas. That's, that's, that's actually on, coming through. Uh, the only that's one. actually going to go through uh, Dayton. <laughs> Isn't it, Roberta? Yeah. That's, that's a, awesome. That, that's Big, a Dayton event right there. Now, yeah. I wouldn't vote. Now, I heard about it. Where, where do I get my shirt? My boat shirt? Uh, I, I, I can look you. Oh, it's so <laughs> funny. Is I have like 10 people now that want to sh- 11 now that want shirts. That's and awesome. I'm going to go up to my dad and be like, you better have some back stock because here's the list. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have like three of those shirts and I wear them every week. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Yeah. They're the best. Hey, Roberta. Yes. Thanks for calling as always. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. You've been great. All you're, right, you're great. Roberta. I hope so. You you're, find you're some great. cool air, Roberta. Look up the <laughs> look up look up the hog uh, the hog life the hog look life up, ho- the <laughs> number one pig rope and con- It's look just up. Mike <laughs> talking about ribs. That's <laughs> all it is. Get your ba- get your bacon fixed. Look up the <laughs> ribs. That's true. Look, look up the hug life podcast and listen. These guys are great. Yeah. You guys have a good night. Thank you too, Roberta. Okay, bye. So, uh, uh, tomorrow I'll be at Mulcahy's and Whittier, where the, everybody's prettier. And um, and then uh, Rudy Marino show at Bruce's in Santa Fe Springs on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock shows. Come on down there. Great people coming down. And then uh, October 8th is our next Legacy show. We have uh, uh, White Gray. We have Javago. We have Javon? Carmel. Carmel Humphrey. Oh, Carmel, I'm sorry. And our headliner is Taylor Tomlinson. Yes. Mm, yeah. So, uh, so come on down to the place that Monica helped build. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, don't don't awesome. let me down. Yeah. Guys. Right. Don't let me down. <laughs> A lot of pressure. Yeah. So anyway, it, awesome having you guys in here. You guys, your your podcast usually drops on Tuesdays. Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. So yeah. iTunes. Uh, subscribe. Review. Yeah. And where else are you guys? Your shows on? I know you got a couple more spots, right? It's on. Um, Oh, it's on Stitcher. Oh, it's on, yeah, uh, and then hugglifepodcast dot com. Yeah. Jesus, guys, come on! It's something called Sorry, it's <laughs> like our show. <laughs> Not yeah. ready for professional radio. You have no me. idea. Mike's looking at me like it's playing in the car. I am blown away that we're all wearing headphones right now. This never happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no one ever wears headphones. We, uh, but yeah, our shows and stuff. I'm monicanevy dot com. That's where if you want to see us live. Also, I have a blog on there that I have been better about lately so you can check some you stuff caught, out you, there you caught some heat on a one a couple yeah, yeah there's been a couple where i'm like pleasantly uh, they, surprised where that uh, favorite um, cuss word came yeah, from. yeah 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 somebody called me a cunt that was great that was great um <laughs> it means you're doing a good job <laughs> yeah, as a female yeah, writer absolutely. i think uh um but we also have like podcast t-shirts and stuff and you can find that through my website so awesome Excellent. yeah coletacomedy.com too if you want to look at my dates <laughs> yeah. there. We will. well if we want to get to the Boat and plywood shit. You gotta. Yeah, man. You gotta I need to know put that on my is. website. I'm gonna put Ford that on my website. Not even on there. Not look on busy, man. man. Right now, it's a secret show. That, so uh. no, that, that's a cre- that's a credit right there. That's that's good. Yeah. This is my second time doing it. I'm excited. The last time I did it, a retired person came up to me and was like, "You have a great radio voice." So I was what, like, "Thank you." So what, you wait, so what are you talking about? What you I do? just make announcements in a <laughs> okay, tent and okay. say the wood glue seminar <laughs> is happening. <laughs> I thought she you just were, do material. It, it sounded like you were doing a set before this thing got kicked off. Oh, right? no, and then, uh, and then, like at the very end, I do the award show, which oh, is yeah. very exciting because it's just my dad freaking out, and hoping I don't swear. <laughs> That's what it is. The whole time. <laughs> I was going to say, I want to hear your water skiing chunk again. That, that would be that would be awesome. Oh yeah, great, awesome, I'm so excited, <laughs> so fun. Thanks for coming, guys. That was Thank like you. a lot of fun. Good. I'm, thanks for having us. Yeah, Thank great. you. I had a great time. That's it. We're out. Thanks again, you guys, for coming in. This has been a blast. Hug Life Podcast. Mike and Monica definitely. Tune them in and check them out. Check their schedules. Go see them. Um, we actually got to go see Mike. I've never seen him perform. I, I hear I think he's. I hear he's okay. Rick's calling you. Yeah. I yeah. That'd be great that'd idea. Be fun. Oh yeah, we got to definitely bring him yeah. through. Definitely bring him through. So, all right, buddy. Next week. Next week. Good job, Jimmy. Thanks again, yeah. Um, yeah. everyone listening. Uh, we appreciate it. You guys have a great week, and we'll see you next Monday night. Hit him, baby. <laughs>